Worlds started a little early. It's fine. I'm also not going to try to push the my model in this today. I'm so concerned about my computer being dumb. We'll see how it goes. She says she has things to do to test for a read a butt, but she has no test. Uh, she's working on stuff right now. I texted her earlier. She's troubleshooting other problems. <laughs> so we, uh, we, we have plot to continue. And if you'll notice the, the stream title and thumbnail for YouTube, perfect. But I, I want to, I want to call attention to a thing that I, I realized after I streamed the last time we did this, <laughs> which amuses me to no end. And I'm very, so we were, we were making jokes that adventuring is just like his whole story is just Dune, right? But then he goes to a, a, a religious themed character who compels him to tell the truth and has a whole plot point revolving around a box and death. And I'm like, shit, Sunday is like the truth sayer for the emperor. And it's it's the Gom Jabar scene. Damn it! <laughs> he really is just like the least Al Gaib. Fuck. It really is just like dude. Now he doesn't have to put his hand in the box, he has to open the box. But it's it's still like it's very similar. And I was like, I, I was driving to work the other day, and I'm like. Fuck, it is that, isn't it? <laughs> it's just Dune. The, it's the Dune agenda, man. It's everywhere. You can't escape it. But before we continue plot, we do have um, our little Monopoly thing to do. So let's let's continue this. I don't think I've done this today. So let's see what we got to do. Also, I have guac and chips as a good snack today. So this will be fun. Hmm. Give a like today to get reroll. Oh, I can do that. I didn't realize that's what that was. Huh. I learned something this entire time I for worker. Uh. I don't really need reroll stuff. I'll, I'll just take this. This is fine. Let's see. We've already done those two things. I will just let it roll. I don't really need anything right now. We need event spaces. Which I don't think are the... That's not what this is, right? This is just games. Alright, let's go. Let's pick, um... This. Alright. That one. That one. That one. Fuck. Well, that sucks. I didn't know they were like my. I didn't know this was like Minesweeper. Uh, let's go for two this time. I want to. I want to see what this is. Since solving the Celeron Crisis, Bellabog has been constantly undergoing plenty of change. You may not recognize the differences, but you will never mistake the trash cans, your most familiar friend, Bellabog's calling card, and the Snow Kingdom's guardian. All oh, right, you haven't paid them a visit in a long time, have you? Uh. I uh, obtain land revenue. Let's go. Try our luck. You are defended by the trash can lawyer. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. No, let's, let's maybe not do that again. Come on. Come on. You need something better than this. You have earned the support of all the trash cans in the city. The trash cans all agree that you are still their trustworthy friend. Good. I'd be devastated if I couldn't win the support of the trash. Let's see. Um, 20 boarding counters. I need one more of those. And we have to roll the dice like 30 more times. So. Put all the questions in the Trailblaze Affinity Test. Alright, let's just continue along then. Hey, nice. The Rifle Right Society internal teams will cover for one another, helping their members avoid their families and companies on weekends or even on work days so they can enjoy a day all to themselves. You received a mission today to help a certain diligent employee to avoid a superior's inane overtime. You realize that the target target's office is poorly ventilated. Wait. Is this is this like pay look would be pay love? wouldn't skip out on work. Change your identity and barge forth. Um, yeah, let's do that. 
Uh, let's let's retry again. Let's try to roll for something better. Ah, there we go. You pose as often to investigate the overtime situation. Let's fucking go. Got it. Crushing it. I'm I'm the best at Monopoly. For for sure. Let's see. Let's go ahead and claim that. So we've almost got all the stuff. We just need to keep rolling the dice and get the rest of these questions out of the way. <laughs> Probably won't need to stream this anymore after we're like done with it. All right, Bellabogs Wallace does not ask you to find more friends. He wants to ask you something more fundamental questions. Is if he was penniless and in danger, what would you do? Uh, problems that can be resolved with money are never problems. There we go. Because it's true. Even at an officer's ball, Seely and Bronya can still go to each other's, uh, can still go at each other's throats. Their ruckus gradually attracts you more attention. At this moment, you will. Uh, they're flirting. I'm gonna munch food. They're just flirting. Looks like Hooks calls trouble at the clinic again. She wants you to help her lie to avoid the old witch's punishment. What will you do? I got lies for miles as long as there's something in it for me. Give me shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a bad influence on Hook. I'm, I'm determined. You notice that, that Reagan has experienced unfair treatment. This guy might be a little mischievous at times, but you can't sit by idly when something like this happens to him. What, what happened to him? Use the fist of science on him! Fight him! <laughs> Reagan's soul burns bright with rebuttal. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just continue along then. Uh, I don't know. I don't really need like a whole lot of stuff. Let's just let's just keep rolling the dice and see where we go. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll buy that. I have a lot of land tiles. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna roll a three this time, so I can get on that golden event. <laughs> Could be fun. Now we're going this way. During the midnight hush, Huahua's haunting wail resonates through the Fixtral Garden. Don't worry, Huahua did not encounter any monsters or demons, she just was watching a video. Speaking of which, of all things to watch, she's watching cooking videos like freshly prepared garlic infused pork and glimmering pork slices and fish sauce. She's been watching her figure lately and is laying off the midnight supper. Watch this video just adds to her frustration. Uh, what are you complaining about? Oh, we're in takeout! Yeah, let's get some food! Don't worry about it. Kwahua shares the joy of food with you. Fuck yes, yeah, she does! Cause food's delicious. Always go for the food. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll roll a couple of ones here. The event stuff's always fun. Mr. Sheehan intends to research an artistic piece about the Lafu Sword Champion Jingli recently. He says that the capturing Boris in Wolfhead Wolf Hulay chapter in Jingli's 13 Miracle Moves that year when the Boris and Wolves swarmed the lands like dark clouds, the Cloud Knights were at the ready, lying in wait. A streak of moonlight pierced through the enemy ranks, shining its lights upon the Wolfpack's leader, and Mr. Sheehan looked over to you. Um, you look over to him again. Ooh, snake eyes. That's a problem. Let's reroll it. Better. His subsequent thoughts turn to ambience of when the two armies face off. Good job, dude. All right, continuing along. I'll take the monies, thanks. Already did this one. Uh, let's get her to enjoy her downtime this time. Uh, let's roll again. Oh, hell yeah! Full 12. Love that. I wish my gotcha luck was that good, because it's not. It's terrible. I have to- I'll show you guys this later. It's- We- we, like, put my- my pulls from, like, at least the last six months or so into the, like, uh, tracker or whatever. My luck is so bad. Like, it's so terrible. It's- it's kind of like a war crime, honestly. You learn later that the blonde merchant, Locha, or Otto, uh, who is being investigated by the Rubkeeping Commission, is the same child merchant Don Hong encountered. There are many outwater merchants on the Shianzo. 
But people who lug a coffin on their back like him are few and far between. And are you not the least bit curious about what's inside the coffin? Uh, it may not even be a person inside it. Yeah, I mean, it might not be, but it's, I want, it's, it's a body. It's Colin, probably. It's, it's Colin. It's definitely Colin. Ignore the fact that Colin's not been mentioned at all in this game in the slightest. Don't worry about it. No one is surprised that you're out of the box remark. It's a stranger to Locha. Yeah. It's, it's not really Colin. I wish it was, though. We need Colin in Star Rail, damn it. Yeah, let's turn that up. Alright, now let's try this a little bit better. This one. Oh, hell yeah. That's a pick me. Let's try this one. Uh, let's try that one. Let's try the middle one. Not the best on those last two. Uh, let's see. We we didn't go down last time, so let's do let's do three. So we'll go down this direction. Yanqing has recently purchased even more artisanship commission swords. He'll buy two of each specification, one to use, the other for his collection. He spent much of his pocket money, and his tactic for of freeloading off and begging the general for favors has not gone well as before. That is why he's beseeching the renowned Artemis, or me. Uh, for any ideas. Uh, Save the Express will take in Yunching. <laughs> try to fed Jing Yuan. I will try that one. You've been forced to become his honorary current Oh no. I think not. I'm not helping out the little man. He can, he can solve his own problems. There we go. Let's roll a one. I want to see what this is. Select suitable persons. Who's the best person to, to come out with scientific questions? Um, <laughs> I want to choose the worst ones for this. So definitely Su Shang. I choose you. Best person to prepare an experimental design. Gwenifen. The best person to collect and analyze data. The Ghost Hunter Squad. Let's go. I I want to see what that does. I, I bet it's terrible, but I I want to know. All right, let's go for three. The self-proclaimed web surfing master, Little Gwei, has is a little depressed. She's experiencing a creative block, and unfortunately, the haters on the net are twisting the truth, attacking her with scathing rumors, which. With frame, with fame comes hate. This is unavoidable if you live on the net. Maybe it's time to lend a hand to her. Um, teach her how to clap back at the haters. Let's go. <laughs> Suddenly, haters are tearing down the defenses. Oh no. Oh, we tried. Fuck them. Actually, you're not supposed to engage with the haters. You're supposed to just ignore them. But also, it's funny. Just tell her, let's just, next time, just be like, come at me, scrub lord, I'm ripped. <laughs> it's fine. Just have to say you're spawning, Gwenaifen, you'll, you'll be alright. Alright. Fushuan has deliberately shown some professional initiative, but it's, or deliberately shown some professional initiative, but it's an indefinite wait till she gets promoted to general. She looks to you. Uh, what? I look to Jing Yuan. John looks into the distance, wordless. That's just like a comedic response. Jingxia has slacked off at work again and is playing Celestial Jade, yet you're here helping Fushuan with her work. You decide to. Uh, snap a photo and send it to Divider for. Let's. I, I kind of want to mess with her. Let's go. The Master Divider responds, It was within my calculations. <laughs> go figure. Yeah, she can't get too mad at her girlfriend. The milk protagonist feelings in The Angler Mystery has spawned two factions. The Childhood Friend faction, which supports the female protag, and the Survived All Odds Together faction, which supports the female... Du Deuteragonist? What the fuck does that mean? That's a new word I've never seen. What does that even mean? I have literally never heard that word before. 
Deuteragonist. What does that mean? A person second in importance to the protagonist in the drama. Okay, so a secondary protag, basically. Uh, how should we handle these two? Fight! <laughs> Let them fight. War. War never changes. You encounter a wild beast, perhaps released by the Unshackled at Scale Gorge Waterscape's Beach. A drift bottle containing treasure is lodged in its mouth. The poor thing is in such a predicament because it was trying to instinctively protect the bottle. You will... BAT! Violence! Does this beast drop stellar jades? I, I hope so. I choose violence. It's fine. Alright, what else are we gonna get? Alright, you're at the Reverie, and you overhear guests discussing the IPC's most wanted man, the unkillable swordsman. The chatters are both excited and terrified from his astronomical bounty to his egregious crimes, and from the souls that died under his blade to... Uh, how fast his blade is. How fast can his blade be? The guests are red in the face now, and they have been debating this for two system hours. Uh... Sure, let's join the discussion. Ten steps of death, a thousand miles untraced. Blade is that fast. Let's try our luck. The guests remain non-committal about your claim. Damn. I mean, we've actually fought him, at least. Oh, is this real life? <laughs> I don't know. Is it Stella? Rolling a lot more ones would be nice here for once. But no, we're not going to get that. Damn. Well, let's continue along. Give me all the monies. I have no idea what this money actually means for me in this context. It's just, you know, random stuff. It's fine. Oh, hey, I can buy new things. Yeah, give me that. Oh, uh, what did we get? The summer revenue is not affected by buffs. The questions that Su Shang posed were quite confusing. The experiment Gwenaifen designs were even more extravagant. Only for Hua Hua was left to stare at the experimental data, head empty. It's another average day for the ghost hunting squad. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> the squad. Pretty typical. Su Shang's a little dumb. It's fine. But we like her anyway. Alright, three times multipliers. Give me something good. I got nothing. Damn. Alright. We got anything good? Up oh, here's Sam. Uh Venture one day bounty hunter experience. Let's try it. I'll fight you. Alright, let's see if we can find Sam this time. Nope, you found the Knight of Beauty Argenti. Let's try try again. Let me have Sam. Yeah! I found Sam. Let's go. He wants to talk to you, but before he can deliver his line, Silver Wolf calls him away. I think... Oh, yeah. We have our remote dice, so let's just use that then. Uh, let's roll a one. Let's see what this is. In our era, I often played Cosmodicy with fellow travelers, hoping to set off with good luck when getting off the express. You remember this voice. She introduced herself as Mag the Nameless from several Amber Eras prior and brought Cosmodicy to the express. Different people interpret Graced Voyager in different ways. How would you bless the Nameless? Um, I'll use other ways to present it. I think I'll play it that way as well. Sure, I have no idea. Uh, all right. Let's let's try this again. Damn! Interpret it as a parkour game. <laughs> all right. Let's do two for this. I want to see what the shop is. Um, remote dice. 
Yeah, we'll get some remote dice. I give us some more stuff to do. One, two, three, four. We want a five. So let's do that. All right, let's try this again, and maybe we'll get actual good luck. Come on, give me all nines. Okay, that's that's not the worst. That's actually pretty good. All right, where's that gonna take me? Uh, here. We want to get to that probably. So, one, so maybe a two. We'll go this way. All right, who's the best person to be a costume designer? Who would be the worst one for that? Like, Locha, okay, at least in Impact 3rd, like, Otto does actually weirdly have, like, a taste for fashion. So, let's go with you. Who's the best person to make costumes by hand? Ratio. Best person to be a costume model. Actually, Aventurine would be really funny. Let's just put him in there. Let's go. I'm sure it's gonna be terrible. We'll, we'll find out later. Uh, and I guess we'll roll one, two, let's roll a th one, two, three. Let's do a three. All right, let's let's try this out properly this time. This one, it's a five. Let's go for that. Two. There's an eight. Nice. Let's pick this one and a six. Eh, not the best, but it's fine. Oh hell yeah, we've almost got it. We just need a, a bunch more questions to do. Still setting up goofy things. Yeah, she is. Charlie is doing stuff. She do be doing stuff. Turn to main menu. Nice. We got more things. We're almost to the 100% here. Alright, well that's done with. Let's see, what do we got over here? Yeah, I donated a lot of stuff to that. We did it. Alright, let's see. What is this notification? I need, to, I need to clear out. I don't like having little things here. It annoys me. Let's see. Do I have any Stellar Jade to, to do pulls? We do have a few pulls. Let's see if we can get Acheron again and get her up to E2. That'd be fantastic. Oh, nothing there. Let's try this one. Nope. Let's try again. Nope. One more time. Damn. Still didn't get her. It's fine. I want her to E2 though. I think it'd be really fun. And now we can actually progress the plot. And I might do some tin pulls later. Because uh, a certain somebody who's not in stream right now donated 100 to me. So we have money for gotcha pulls again. It'll be great. Now does it fail to be in business What's up, Topaz? I bet you're not used to it. I mean... It, it is the Lisa Nile Gaib. I think I'll be fine working with him. Wow. Yeah, right. I, I got an email about that and I was so confused. I was like, where the hell did this come from? Well, she's surprisingly nice to Aventurine. But Aventurine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch, and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Yeah, I bet. It only works when all the party's interests are aligned. <laughs> of course. It's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. Yep, and he uh, he had a bad, bad uh, time of it last stream, so... As for the two cases... Apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. I mean, yeah, we'll figure it out. Why don't you explain to me why he has your, like, stone, Topaz? Did you give him that? 
Her voice is familiar? Yeah, I don't know where her voice is. I'll have to go check. Alright, well I guess we're gonna talk to the bloodhounds. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? I love that he's like Australian. <laughs> Why does he have an Australian? I love this. I love this his accent. We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Pentacom. We've got the right one this time. Uh, okay. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Oh, okay. We meet again. <laughs> uh, you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Why is he Australian? <laughs> I love that. We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. <laughs> Stop I love him. Nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> Come on, March. <laughs> It had to happen. Where's our lunch break? Mm, hungry. <laughs> hungry. Oh, sheesh. Why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle of investigating a murder case for the family. <laughs> I am such a menace to March. Poor girl is like, I am so tired of your shit. And I'm like, get over it, March. It's happening. It keeps happening every time because it's what I'm all about. I'm here for chaos. Before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that, that, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Yeah, we can go find him. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. The one yeah, I like Gallagher. He's cool. He's chill. Yeah, let's go find him. Where are you at, Gallagher? We can we can do a chat. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh right, yeah. That that thing. I'm not worried about that. Well let's continue. I wanna see how, how um Aventurine's Dune subplot's gonna shake out. Such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Probably. Uh, Gallagher. Gallagher. He's up here. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to cause trouble again. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? <laughs> Oh no, I would have just more unhinged out of pocket answers. Uh, you think you look alike? How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver haired girl. <laughs> this dude sounds like he's on the verge of tears. <laughs> we traumatized the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Even him, it goes like, uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave. <laughs> or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. This dude is on the verge of tears. <laughs> we absolutely traumatized the shit out of him. <laughs> huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Now, she says. <laughs> March knows. She knows we're up to some fucking trouble. <laughs> If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Oh, yeah? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! Sorry, 
No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's uh -huh. through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? This dude is so on edge because we beat the shit out of him. <laughs> We're really sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way. Another way? Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? Oh no, we're gonna mess with his mind. <laughs> we're, we're like, like, let's just cue the like the Inception music. It's fine. Can you perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. I can't abuse it for evil doings. It's not bad if we're resolving a misunderstanding. Please. Okay, March. I can't say no to that. Sorry, no can to everyone. Please leave. You and this Bloodhound family member have met before, and you already know he's very uptight. But you also are aware that principles sometimes don't matter when a person is in a good mood. Alright, well, we've made him calm. That's him calm? He sounds like he's about to cry. Let me see what time it is now. Whoa! It's this time already! What? Time to clock out! And no one's gonna stop me. That's how I feel whenever I leave work. <laughs> Mood, though. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. Uh, what? <laughs> They're all just like, what the hell did you do? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. A little bit, yeah. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Yeah, let's go. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? You know, I bet I could cosplay Gallagher. He's got some ugly ass pants, but I bet I could cosplay him. I'd need to grow my hair out a little longer, though. Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me, sir. Also, I'm very amused that his, like, little, like, shoulder cape thing and his, like, little, little, like, wolf paws on it. It's surprisingly cute for somebody who looks like he can beat you in, a, like, a fight. <laughs> Back to emo. Yeah, no, you, you know, you're right, Charlie. My, my hair does become, like, more like emo Spider-Man. It, it does become edgy Toby Fox instead of, like, the long flowing locks that I'd, I'd need it to be. We'd probably have to have a wig for this. Damn shame. Mr. Gallagher. You even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I mean, I guess emo obviously. Yeah, I never had an emo phase, but you know, I had an it looks like some ways on it. In the golden hour. I remember that little silver haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Uh. That's exactly what the family's ordered us to this investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it. In the hopes of getting justice for her. Yeah. Nameless, involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. I mean, we're not exactly doing their bidding. We're doing this for our own reasons. Quite a bit, in fact, March. I, I thought that was obvious. The, they're clearly the bad guys. Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Yeah, he definitely knows more than he's letting on. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Yeah, no you shit. Wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. I like him. Like, he's he's been very pleasant to talk to every time we've run into him. At this moment, on the other side. Other side of what? 
Like, are we looking at Adventuring's plot still, or like what? Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Are we finally getting the, the Kevin discussion? Imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Well, you know damn well that that's not true, though. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. A living idol. Like a spiritual atom, perhaps? Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Like a parasite. An interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Pinacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. <laughs> Maybe. The human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Yeah, actually. <laughs> he, sh he damn well should. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Yeah, you know what's up. Both of you do. People immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail. They draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death is the inevitable conclusion. Exactly! It's it's what happened with Project Stigma. We already know this. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. Yeah, pretty much. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. Yep. Exactly as we already said, so. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you Can you eating my chips? Share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword. And then quickly let go in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. Yeah. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Yeah, just like what happened with Sakura in the Elysian Realm, who is kind of like a mentor to Mei during that time, so. Just take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. All right, let's get some information regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Okay. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical work day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. If you say so. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. All right, Gilded Hour. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Okay. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is interesting analogy and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is 
for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who was willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Kopeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. I mean, that's kind of what happened to Stella, so. About Blue Hour. I hear the Blue Hour is very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There's a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Their soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. Yeah. Okay. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Kanakoni to pursue their dreams. Alas. Her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Is that like when the guy got like sucked into the dream and never to come back? Because he basically just died and he was pulled down into the dream. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. All right, about Moment of Dusk. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the Moment of Dusk. My so the capitalism section. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money is for dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. Yeah, a little uh strange, but I saw a new Teletron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. So slavery. He was sold into slavery. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times. And I participated in his thirteenth. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Damn. There, there's a lot to, like, dissect about this. Of just the, the rot that happens underneath all a pretty dream. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. All right. Someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides All right. rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. Yeah. All right. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? So, I don't know if I talked about this on stream, but I'll mention it now. Um, Acheron went through a lot of the same story that Impact Thirds May went through. We, we know that pretty well confirmed. And someone I saw on Twitter suggested that when the text is in red, that she's using her Hersher of Origin authority. And Impact Third didn't really go into like a whole lot of detail as to what that actually meant. But the, the best way I think I can explain this is that when we look at like Alicia, the original Hersher of Origin, she used all of her authority and sacrificed herself to dissolve fate on humanity on Earth. So that way the next era could surpass and usurp finality in a way that the previous Sums Recycles were not able to do. So, it seems that the 
authority of origin has in its own way an ability to affect fate and time. Which if you've if you're on YouTube and you've seen my my video discussing my original theory crafting about that, we kind of hit on that point very quickly. That's probably what it was about. So here uh, we had the conversation with Akron and Sam earlier, where he says that like there's nothing written in um, the script from Elio about Acheron. And she also quotes a conversation between May and Kevin that happens in Pack Third. Like, do you remember the people that you've killed in your dreams, kind of thing? Um, but what I think is very telling about this is that the script that Elia writes is a sort of fate, right? It's destiny. But May, or Acheron in this case, being the Hersher of Origin, or previously the Hersher of Origin, being able to control fate at will, does not show up in this script at all. So. It's possible that whatever she's saying here, it's not going to show up on a script. It's not may not even be able to be read by the memo keepers because it operates on entirely different rules separate from fate. It's outside of the purview of that. Um, one one way I think you could look at this is like when Black Swan was trying to like access Acheron's memories, she wasn't able to. And I think I understand the reason why, because I think that memo keepers operate kind of similarly to how Eponia works. Eponia in, in Impact 3rd, she can like kind of see the future in a sense, but that's because she can see, like literally see the threads of fate. And she can see where things are going to go. But the moment that Alicia dissolves fate, her powers don't work anymore. Like they, like she can't see anything past a certain point because fate is gone. So for way, the way I understand this is that Black Swan's powers work very similarly. But because Akron exists outside of that rule, she really can't do anything. She can go to other people who are there, but when it comes to Akron specifically, she can't do anything. Because Akron just does not exist within that cycle. Which is very interesting. I like that they, if, if this do be correct, I like the idea that they're taking something that Impact Third introduced, that we didn't really get as much information as I would like about how it was worked. Or how it was explained. And we're kind of expounding on that and implementing it in a very unique way. I really like that. It's a really cool idea. Uh, oh, here we go! It's my turn to share a story with you. Oh, here we go. Alright. The music in the background. This is Kevin's theme. From Impact Third, I think it's a variation of his theme. Here we go. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant. Uh, spiritual Adam. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Project Stigma and Kevin. I fucking called it! <laughs> and this is Kevin's theme in the background. It's just, mm. <laughs> we called it! Back in the last fucking update. Yeah! <laughs> and since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price... Those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They were pulled into the bottom of the dreamscape and died, basically. They slumbered in a dream, <laughs> devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable you know until teddy consumed the dreams but it's fine and yet you stand here right now which also means that man failed because people must always move towards the future even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself and that man he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was 
the sun chaser of legend soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. Why couldn't they call him a flame chaser in this moment? That's what his actual title was. I get the Icarus thing is, is on point with the actual discussions of his lore and impact third, but damn it, you should have called him fucking the flame chaser, so it's more overt. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea, and after that, Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. I'm so excited they talked about this. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past, and within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life alone. <sighs> yep, yeah, see, she's the bad end for May's story. I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? It's origin, probably. Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. So another fun thing with this, I, I posted this in Salty Spatoon a while back in, in my own server here, but there's a very important discussion that happens in Kevin's story where it's like a philosophical thing of why do birds fly? It's a question that Kevin has asked over centuries. He poses it to Raven and a bunch of others. And they're, they're continuing this conversation here. Just again to drive home the point that is this, this is the same thing. I I love this so much. I'm so fucking pumped. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? I am so excited about this conversation. This is the shit I've wanted from Star Rail since it started. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacone? Acheron. Who the hell is that? Always. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet that's Boot Hill. Imposter? I see. 
she gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm pretty sure this is Boot Hill. I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Tough challenge I like. You got imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. This dude is so goofy already. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger? Yes. I have something to ask you. Asking me to write your will. Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? <sighs> She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> She's something you've never seen before, Black Swan. That's what she is. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. But he drinks warm wine? That feels strange. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. I mean, we already knew she was an emanator. That's not really a surprise. All right, we're back to adventuring. All right, adventuring. Let's go. It's not, but all wines are made to be heated. Are they really? It just sounds kind of like odd to me. I'm not used to thinking about warm wine. Spice wines are typically drink hot. Huh. Maybe it's a spiced wine. The spiceless flow. <laughs> That's what it really is. <laughs> I got to I got to reference it back. <laughs> Look, we're we're adventuring now. We, we already established adventuring is the Lisa Nal Gaib, as it is written. <laughs> so, you know, I'm ready to see how, how this whole thing goes. You look pale, or is that also part of your act? Oh, I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. <laughs> Don't give me that face, Charlie. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. My, what an honor. Just kiss you two, get over it. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. I guess. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacone. Well, yeah, so duh. I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. You say so. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? 
You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panicomi. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? I mean, I have no idea what he did. Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. I mean, duh. Maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. A baby bottle? A very fancy baby bottle? What's this? Medical advice? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. All right. <laughs> the voice. They're using the voice on him. The case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, wing-headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. All right. Also, what the hell has Sparkle been up to? The fuck has she been doing? Don's macabre, let's go. Listen to Akron and Walt's conversation, fuck yeah. God, that makes me so happy. I I feel so vindicated that like the moment we got to Panacone, it was just, I was picking up like, no, this is Project Sigma. This whole thing is Project Sigma. I knew it like the moment that we fucking got here, I was like, that's what it is. And now we have a conversation that, A, references directly Impact Third's plot, and also pretty much confirms exactly what I was thinking it was. I'm like, hmm, vindication feels fucking awesome. Love to see it. So we had Jim's and asked around for clues regarding the stowaways. Uh, I guess I can't buy stuff from this dude. Hey, uh, movie critic, I got money for you, dude. Uh, the world. Truly lost its way. Do you say so? You. Wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? I mean, sure. You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. I mean, yeah, typically. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. I have no idea what this guy's talking about. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Well, I mean, that is accurate. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Pentacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? My guy. As, as a fellow critic, you can tone it down a little bit. <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. 
That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights... I don't think those have anything to do with death. Probably not. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. I mean, that would make sense. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? It's the spice! You're getting visions of the future of entering. But if you perceive the future, you'll also create it and set the world on an un unchangeable path. Beauty alive in the cosmos? Sure. Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please. Feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. I love how she took that as a compliment, but he was basically like, Yeah, you look poor, so here's money. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. I, I get not a great live injury. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Yeah, we confirmed that was a thing, though. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she they protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But, unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. <sighs> the disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. God, I can't, like, now that I've just decided that adventuring is, is just Dune, I, I can't, like, just not make these connections in my head as to what the fuck is happening with him. It's so fucking uh, good. Sip of liquor. Blissful reprieve. What's up, Bochi the Rock? What's happening? Sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. If you say so. Oh? <laughs> you. You're giving these oh, I'll skip your dialogue, whatever. You just pitying me. Well, uh, we're pumping you for information. As long as I have soul glad. You really shouldn't drink so much soul glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. No, not especially. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Careful, Avery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. I don't know if I would call that thing a seahorse. They say it loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think that thing looks like that. Uh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Uh, darn it. <laughs> Now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. I mean, maybe. Oh, what's up, dude? Let's Take talk. Care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Yeah, I got some money for you, dude. <sighs> the expression on this hunk of a man. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I was this is remember this is Aventurine's like this this is his story. So I'm I'm taking this to mean that this is his internal dialogue. He looked at this guy's like this hunk of a man. <laughs> there is nothing straight about Aventurine at all. Not even a little bit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> It was complex, as if he were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow and able to fly in nearing its end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. All right, whatever, man. Well, actually... I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panagoni. Dude, eventually you can't help but flirt. <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panagoni? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Uh, what was I even thinking? A family would never share intel with the IPC. No, probably not. He's flirting. He really is, though. He saw this dude, he's like, yeah, you're my type. <laughs> and he flirts. <laughs> I'm very amused with Aventurine. Like, I didn't think I was going to really like his character, but, like, man. Star Rail really does have, like, this knack of, like, characters I don't think I would like them. And they bring them in, and I'm like, yo, you're actually really fun. Because, like... My biggest issue with, like, with uh, so, like, Genshin, for example, is, like, I can't really get behind a lot of the writing they do for the guys. But, like, Star Rail has done so much better in making the male characters, like, actually interesting. They have defined personalities, got weird quirks about them. They can be serious and dramatic, have their own sad stories, but they also can be kind of, like, goofballs in their own way. And it's not nearly, like, one note as it is for some characters in Genshin. I really like how they write the guy characters in Star Rail for the most part. They're all really fun. And every time I'm like, I'm not all that interested in them. And we get to play them, I'm like, yo, actually, this dude's fun. I like this guy. What's happening? You totally down for me. it. Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest... I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. I still find it weird to have a voice like that coming out of, like, a little tiny child. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? Sh sure <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince. And I just thought these gems would help you speak. So... As an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death. Ah, another curious soul. I see. Well, right. That was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Damn. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. I mean, it is professional if there's actually, some, if there's actually something of value in it. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. It's not baseless tabloid shit if there's actually something there. All right, let's talk to you, my guy. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Looking at his ass. Let's go. A gift? <laughs> Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? I've just decided it. I I know that there's some like general idea of like the 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 flirtatious part of it. It's not necessarily willing. It's it's just a thing for him. But I want I want to believe that at least sometimes it is. Yes. Let him flirt, it's fine. Me. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. No, oh, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. I mean, I guess. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. How ironic. That's actually kind of a weird thing to drop. He's like, yeah, my dad's a robot. So his mom, I guess, bought a sex robot and then, like, married it, I guess, and then adopted this guy? What? <laughs> like, that's a very specific detail I wasn't expecting from Star Rail. Like, yeah, my dad's a robot. I have questions. We're never going to get them, but I have, I have questions about this. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's something. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Sh sure. Hmm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. I'm just gonna keep running around, people. Girl, let's talk to you. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Hey, there's Sparkle! Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. I recognize that smug voice. Let's go. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Now, I want to know what the hell your goal is. What do you want? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You are the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Well, yeah. Also, she's wearing like a little cat bell. That's kind of funny. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Sure. And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Yeah, I, I would like answers to this too. Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. I guess. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? <laughs> okay. I like his delivery, it's so much fun. Don't you want to see Panacone descend into chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Okay, before I continue, I have to go to the bathroom real fast. We'll be right back.
And we're back. And here is the bird again. Another Acheron, perhaps? And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? I don't know. Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But one is dead now. And the other... Though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Uh-huh. He. I wonder if she's talking about, like, Misha. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth and the means to expose it. All right. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Damn, girl. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no. 16 system hours. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. All right. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. <laughs> okay. Right? If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? I I guess. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. Damn, she's like, here's a button to, to kill yourself. Have fun. <laughs> oh, deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Damn, Sparkle. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way... I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of, but it's good to hear that he's still here in Panagoni. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. As we probably should, because they're kind of fucked up anyway. The walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Interesting. I wonder what that's in reference to. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? All right. <laughs> I still, like, is she really just here to, like, just kill all chaos? Is that really it? All right, now we're getting his actual backstory. All right, what's happening with you, Aventurine? So, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you sick. The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I, I don't know either. You must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? 
Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Huh. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Uh, how Yikes. Much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay? For me. Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tonba. No more, no less. I have no idea what that means in this context. I'll take my chances. 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tonba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Damn. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. You know, Ventrian's had some pretty shit luck in terms of his life. He's still alive, I guess, but... Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Siobhan, that's how that's pronounced? I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Okay, I like this girl. I like this girl a lot. She looks a lot like my design for Veda. My OC. <laughs> They've got the same hairstyle. Like, that's that's actually really funny. <laughs> well, let's see what you are. Are you like my character at all? Or or no? This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> I mean, I guess. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! And I like Serval, too. I think she is Serval. <laughs> Serval. Will you, uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Hey! <laughs> She's already like, hey! Somebody cool like me? Time to flirt. Let's go. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's go. Spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. Time to drink. Let's go. This discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Uh, you know, I have actual alcohol right here. I could make my own drinks, you know. It'd be fine. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely lady. You can help yourself <laughs> to anything if you wish for it. Uh, Siobhan, I like her a lot. Confusion or even boredom. It's all within reach right at your fingertips. <laughs> I like her. She's fun. C can you be playable too? I want your uh, I like you. Oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. March can't help but be like March is already like she flirted with me. Can you see? <laughs> March, you're you're very easy to like win over, aren't you? Some compliments and you're just putty. 
Even in reality, mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together. A bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Get jealous, Stella. Exactly. So you got you gotta like fight her for your girlfriend. Mark March is like th this is your thing, right? Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. You know, that's, that's a fairly decent advice, I suppose. Collect ingredients for the drink. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? Give it a bag of trash! <laughs> you put a bag of trash into the empty cup. Let's go! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way! The words on the note are... <laughs> I'm like, it's garbage! It's my most precious stuff! <laughs> Truly, she is a raccoon, and I love it. Look, it's fine. It's just trash juice. D don't don't think about it too much. Trash juice is fine. All right, what else we got going on over here? I'm not seeing any other ingredients around over here. I guess we'll check this one. Everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Uh-huh. So enemies drop gold coins even in a dream. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. <laughs> Dude, Gallagher's chill. I like this guy. I had some drinks with him. Uh, that being Let's go. Said, opening a bar in this place filled with monsters? Is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Yo, I, I want to hang out with Gallagher and Siobhan. That sounds fantastic. They, they seem really chill. I think we can get along. Just chilling at like a fucking cozy ass bar, just vibing. Like, I'm here for it, man. Alright, what other uh, what other stuff we got in here? I guess we're out of the range of the thing now. Oh, I hear something. Uh, check out this bottle! The liquid inside looks beautiful! And the label reads... Dream Syrup. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is... I mean, you're in a dream. Half an amber era ago. That means it's finally aged, March. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. But I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Uh, that's true. But this really doesn't seem fresh. No, nah, you don't understand alcohol, March. It's, it's finally aged. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. <laughs> Perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. I like her so much. Well, She's won me over. Then we'll keep it for now. Well, that's quite a stash. If it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Oh, oh we, we've got, she's right here. It's fine. <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amaki? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Panacone, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Aha. Uh -huh. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Girl, what is your deal? A sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. You didn't have to say that so like it forcefully. It's it's just like sparkling water with ice. It's it's cool. Just one moment. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Uh, how come even you, Himiko? Running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, let's manipulate her brain. Let's go. Yeah, I'm counting on you. M brain manipulation. Let's fucking go. Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? I just don't get why she won't leave this. Siobhan said anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. What's going on with you? Um, let's let's try making her sad. Time to be sad. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. So what are you, like an ex-girlfriend? Like, like, what's going on with you? Siobhan's past and you have no clue how radiant she used to be even among the talented Iris family her skill was unmatched I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead but all I want Man, we ran into a lot of sad people today. Like, why? There's just so many. I mean, that one guy had PTSD, and now there's this girl. You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, the emotion turns into liquid, filling your goblet. All right, so we have sad juice. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have. I just don't get why. She All right. Well, we made you sad, so let's try happy. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air, a beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. Man, this girl is intense. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me that's why i have to bring her back to that world no matter what it takes <sighs> want to raise a glass i'm uh, sure emiki pours pika white grape soda in your tall glass the rims gently clink emitting a resonant sound she's still not leaving all right, well, time to make her mad. All right, what's what's your uh, what's your angie stuff? Those darn Iris jerks! They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty. You know, I thought she'd be mad at Siobhan, but apparently not. Siobhan? 
So they're, they're giving it a V sound, but like, I'm not sure if it's supposed to have one. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. You're calling her a coward? I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Um, all right. Go do what you gotta do, man. Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear. And bringing well, Siobhan's just hanging out back there. She's like, nah, I wouldn't deal with this shit. Just please go away. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. You really are like an ex-girlfriend, huh? Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Uh, all right. left? That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. But I'd like to stay here and chat with you instead. I want to know more about what's going on with you. You're fun. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So, go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. I have all the ingredients I need. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor. And the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. All right. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Oh, I didn't get a classic Soul Glad, but that's fine. Um, I guess we we'll use the white grape soda. Yeah, we'll do that. The original formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. It's sour and bitter, and the bubbles burst in your throat like swallowing rusty chains, evoking thoughts of dungeons and prisons. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, All what's right. your choice for the adjunct? Uh, definitely our, um, our trash juice. Which I think was this one. Uh, yeah, I want trash juice. Bright future. A taste that's been a long time coming. I'll never forget the flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through the dreamscape wilderness. Those were haunting times. Too beautiful to be real. Well, now we've actually met somebody who references Mikhail. That's, that's interesting. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. There's nothing more going on with him than he's letting on. Uh, let's see. A sort of bitter thing, and then something that tastes like bright futures. I think. Uh, we'll do the the coin shaped lemon slices. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? Well, nah, I feel like it would just complement the flavor. What do we got? Here's to you, the nameless with this glass of a ticket to the boneyard. Well, that's that's ominous. <laughs> I made a very ominous drink. <laughs> to the dead and the dying. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. Yeah, we, we had trash juice. It tastes like dead people. Let's go. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece. 
especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I feel like I'd like this drink. Let's go. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Heard the same in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? I mean, I remember. <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Uh, look at the back of his outfit. He has like a little like, th this is like a glass with like little little bubbles in the middle. That's kind of fun. I don't know if that was super intentional, but it does look kind of like a little wine glass with, with sparkling water stuff in the center. I like that. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Yeah, we knew that. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. Are they? I'm bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean... Uh... Maybe things are differently than we think. Are you suggesting that girl wasn't actually killed? Come on. Aren't you a witness in this case? Yes, but just because she exploded in a dream goo doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. Yes, it does. And none of you know this because Welt's not here to explain it to you. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Uh-huh. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony. And thus the answer to the question... Why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? Why does nobody know you? I'm sure you must have known He looks like a guy who'd buy quirky socks. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I, I bet he would. He's got like, like, like fuzzy cat socks underneath all these fancy pants. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Pentagoni and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down. Why, though? As he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world? 
Inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? I guess? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. So you say. I'm not sure I'm entirely convinced of it, but sure. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Well, I mean, yeah, I figured that much out. Which means Misha's... Either the watchmaker or a descendant of him. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Pentacone. Oh, we're watching amusement parks. Hell yeah. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts. But an amusement park? Don't, look, don't argue with it, March. It's fine. The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Ch sure. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? <laughs> yes. All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. I.E. Spiritual Adam! I told you guys! Yeah! <laughs> we fucking called it! Hell yeah! But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. I mean, I assumed. So that clucky cartoon's actually a documentary. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. Well, I mean, I kind of figured as much. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. So, if Hanu is like an actual person who was in prison, then like, who is Boss Stone, for example? Is that like the family? There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order. Hold on, we're getting more stuff. Supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Well, you know, this means we gotta start looking for uh, treasure. New area means new stuff to find. I'll take that. Yoink! Come here, little burb. I'm favored by fortune. We, we sure about that? I, I feel like my, my star roll stats say otherwise. My stats have been pretty ass. New stuff, let's fucking go! Alright, so, we need to get here. And why does that not move? Oh, okay, that's why. And then we can do... Hmm. Mm. Huh. Okay. Mm. 
Let's move this somehow. Huh. All right. What do we need to do here? I think we probably need to go. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Okay, that does that. We move this over here. That doesn't move anymore. Oh, there it is. Got him! Alright, give me this stuff. Oh, well, cutscene. So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Uh, it's pretty impressive, even from my hair. Well, it's a masterpiece from the family, after all. Besides the followers of the preservation, the family members are the best at creating mind blowing marvels. I mean, I suppose. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. Koi, koi. Here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Okay. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists. The hell was that man? Omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? Yep. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? <laughs> I'm 13. <laughs> oh no, what is what is that? <laughs> what does that mean, Gallagher? <laughs> what does that even mean? What do you mean you're 13? <laughs> Man. That's something else. Uh, no way. Not even close. Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. <laughs> With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Osdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. What? But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to... Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. If you say so. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded all right, traitors all right, all right. harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world. Behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor. The one responsible for all this. And restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed. 
and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog, the family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, uh -huh. I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? No, I would assume not. Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against... I bet it's time. Misha! Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. I mean, yeah, that's fair. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those ones that look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. Yeah, I gotta explore and find treasure. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Dream seeker? Entropy? Another connection? Not really. Probably not. We don't really know enough about Entropy to even say if she has anything even remotely close to something like this. But it is funny. Alligator does have a troubled past, it seems. Oh, well, yeah, no shit. Look at him. While Dude looks like he's dead inside. About to remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Uh huh. And the family isn't united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. The death is related to the Watchmaker. Lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Well, yeah, we knew that already. That claw key is based on the Watchmaker. Uh, you're really into claw key, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Except he kind of is real, but whatever. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. Now that we've confirmed up. a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, he's been talking to Acheron this whole time, so let's see what he's been doing. Nice. Hell yeah, you did. We can always trust May. We can always trust May. She's she's always reliable. We needn't worry about it. Oh, Acheron's POV. All right. Companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. 
Looks like we're about to enter the depths of... What's up, Tengris? Uh, happy Easter. Thank you for that. I forgot it was Easter until I went to go buy groceries, and then everything was closed. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. All right. So we're, we're back in here again. Beyond good and evil. All right. Well, I think we've already done this area. Right? Yeah, we got most everything here. Minus, there's two treasure chests, one trash can, and a warp trotter. So we got to look for those things. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Potentially. The door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Akron draws her blaze slightly. Within a moment, her breath becomes imperceptible. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Yeah, I wonder what that actually means in this context. During exploration, using Akron's technique to attack normal enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. Uh, when not hitting enemies, their technique points are consumed. Hell yeah. No, I already knew about this. I needed this to be a thing. Because, Three, fuck four. you! Get out of here! That right there is the whole reason I wanted Acheron. Truly. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden bar, isn't it? And the footprints here are different from the rest. And there are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Three, four. Nice! <laughs> That's so satisfying. Like, I, I'm so... I'm so happy about that. It makes me so happy. I don't tend to do, like, a whole lot of, um... Like, the, um... Fuck, what is it? Simulating universe and stuff? Because it's just, it's so tedious to have to fight everything all the time. But this? Nah, I ain't worried about it anymore. Just gotta nuke some shit and be done with it. It's fantastic. Well, I can't go that way. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Wait, what? What do you mean? What is what is all this? I was in the I was, there was nothing there. That's bullshit. Look, I've leveled up uh, Otto, and I've swapped out Black Swan stuff so she can do a little bit more damage. So they should do a little bit better this time around. I had to give Black Swan like Silver Wolf's uh, Light Calm because I just didn't have anything that really would work for her. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Bunk. I'm gonna beat a T-Rex with tarot cards. I think that's how Black Swan's gonna work. They really are shredding his uh, uh, armor though, which is really good. Pretty sure Akron ignores shields anyway, so, you know, I'm not worried about this. Yeah, okay. Alright, beat him, Acheron. Let's go. Easy. Easy peasy. No problem. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. 
It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. I have my suspicions. Star Raylan! What's up, Zam? But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, it was Sunday, probably, and we don't trust that motherfucker. Yeah, but I don't know why. I don't trust Sunday in the slightest. Like, that dude is, is super sketchy. Cold, but just chillin'. Yeah. Chillin's always nice. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Staying hidden. Let's go. Alright, what is this? List of death victims. Ansarol, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything was wrong. Insufficient investigation. Mori, a male from the Shianzo, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour. and mysteriously disappeared while the sphere was bouncing in the air. Later examination showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible. Imaka, a female human, participated in the talent show in the moment of scorched sand, but accidentally fell off the stage before the judges turned around and disappeared into the shadows below. The footage from that episode of the show has been deleted. The culprit is skilled in swift disguises. Caution is advised. Weber, a male Papeshi, fell down while entering his office on payday in Gilded Hour and was killed by an unknown meme that suddenly appeared. The memories of witnesses have been processed. Note. Preferring to attack wounded or vulnerable individuals, uncertain, maybe taking orders from someone else. Chimet, a male Papeshi, was taken away while flipping over a card at a casino in the moment of stars. The casino staff has dealt with the aftermath of the incident. Note, flipping a card. Interesting. Deckham, a male human, jumped into the ocean of dream bubbles in Blue Hour in an attempt to impress his girlfriend, but got entangled by an unknown meme under the sea and drowned. His girlfriend's memories have been processed, but the outcomes are not satisfactory. Further intervention from motivators may be necessary. Note, most cases are related to the ocean. Could this be a breakthrough? Additional note, scratch that. After checking, only two cases are related to the ocean. Uh, Caxia, a female Foxian, was engulfed by an unknown meme while playing dreamy slots in Golden Hour. The incident caused a huge commotion at the spot. The memories of most witnesses have been processed. Note, could it be that the Sweet Dreams troop does it have the ability to imitate and learn? Multiple culprits. There's likely a mastermind behind the scenes. Kambega, a male bloodhound, was attacked by an unknown meme before a shift change in the moment of serenity, resulting in his death after a fight. Security measures have been enhanced in the prison area. No notable, no notable details in the case. Need to ask the bloodhound family to strengthen the defenses of the prison and other facilities. Janet, a female human, disappeared while visiting the film history gallery at the Museum of the Moment of Soul. She was drawn towards a mysterious sound calling to her and walked into a screen, vanishing without a trace. The sight has been cordoned off. This is the only case where the culprit demonstrated speech ability. Further verification is required to determine if this is a false claim. Monk, a male in Teleron, was attacked while replacing his newly purchased high-grade vision sensors in the auction of at the moment of dusk. Vision sensor? Noteworthy. I wonder if that's the one that Akron was talking about earlier. That, like, disappeared. Annette, a female Papeshi, vanished while touching up her makeup in the bathroom before the graduation ceremony at Paperfold Academy in the moment of soul. She was caught by a meme into a mirror and disappeared, witnessed by a teacher at the scene. Mirror? Noteworthy. Current hypothesis is related to sight. Chloe, a female in Teleron, was attacked by a meme and disappeared when she blew out the candles during her birthday celebration with her friends in Blue Hour. All witnesses are currently receiving treatment from motivators. More attacks occurred in dark and dim environments. Is sight really a trigger? Carissa, a female Halovian, was harassed by a fervent fan backstage before her performance in the moment of Scorched Sand and was subsequently abducted by a meme during her escape. The Blood On family has apprehended the fan. Abducted? Keep a lookout for this fervent fan. Dorian, a male human, took a nap before the end of a shift at the moment of daybreak without telling his managers and was abducted by an unknown meme hiding under a chair. 
Emergency intervention was provided and production at the factory has resumed, the, resumed as usual. Taking a nap. Plus considering discussing the Alfalfa family about increased vacation time and additional breaks for workers. Marlow, a male human disappeared after being involved in a car accident in Golden Hour. Witnesses reported to the presence of an eerie meme who fled underground at the scene of the accident. This is a genuine case of death. The meme must be connected to concepts such as death and murder. The system comprises over 100 cases related to memories on meme death. However, the author of the list seems to struggle with figuring out the pattern. Information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Not especially. Right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just so it seems that it has resurfaced. All right, what's this one? This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. I mean, I guess so. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Probably not good. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. All right. Well, there's that. What else we got? Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pentacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with the doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, or of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Pentacony, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Germany Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You're the only true family member I have left. There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the members on meme death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause the series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I have thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take long. Given your heavy, heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you're free. I brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant Tomoa, pudding tarts from Morillions, Wild Strawberries from Akonyako, known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. And almond meringue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Shipe be with us, your sister Robin. Here's here's my current working theory. Robin knows too much. And Sunday is is potentially the traitor. Because she knows too much and she's getting on stuff. Even if it is his sister, he has to kill her. So he's directed death to do this. I don't know what he stands to gain from this, though. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Pentacony, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. 
So Sunday, probably. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Or Sunday is the traitor. But again, we don't know why is the question. Letter from Alfalfa. To Sunday, I've been informed about Robin, and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold a position of not only her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Pinnacone. As Pinnacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that would others can use against you as leverage. Her that you're planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such actions does... Or such action does not sever, or serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times, long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister, and I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory zone meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess the situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Pentagoni's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus's arrival is delayed. I guess that's the, the gods thing or whatever. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you will comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As to the matter of Robin, there will be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I'll provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Odie. So, Odie is another head. Probably not the traitor. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this Old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and yeah, everybody doy. has their own agenda. I mean, we've been saying this from the start, man. All right, what's this one? Esteemed head of the Oak family, the investigation into all suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. As may draw. Ryan, a general staff from the Oak family, short gray hair, leading a laid back lifestyle, often caught slacking at work. Percy, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, dark curly hair, suffered from severe OCD, unable to work until his tie is tied and checked five times. Reshi, a diplomatic clerk from the Oak family, long gray hair, a devoted fan of clock, he exhibits a pr preference for the clock element in almost all aspects of his life. Connor, professional paperfold academy, short red hair, rumored by students to be an enigmatic figure due to his unkempt appearance. Doriani, a professor at the Paperfold Academy, short gray hair, known among students for bringing cigarettes to class instead of textbooks. Peruru, a researcher from the Nightingale family, long blonde hair, known for being obsessed with soda and having the research lab's trash can filled with empty drink cans. Benny, a dreamscape producer from the Nightingale family, curly brown hair, frail and thin, exhibiting an almost fanatical affection for dream construction. Marine, a dream weaver from the Nightingale family, short gray hair, standard stature for professional adults, Possesses a collector's fetish, particularly fond of mugs and jugs. Sir Whitaker, a head of the Nightgale family, short black hair, distinguished by his rare orange pupils. Pat, a renowned actor from the Irish family, short gray hair, featured in numerous classic films and TV shows, known for his distinctive th thigh band? Okay. Borage, an actor from the Irish family, short black hair, frequently cast in gangster themed films, widely acclaimed for his performances in close quarters combat scenes. Nader, a drinksmith from the Irish family, short blonde hair, enjoying a good reputation among tourists, he is engaging conversations. Carrie, an actress from the Irish family, long pale hair, known for cross-dressing in films to play suit-clad male protagonists, affectionately called by her fans as the Grey Beauty. Brendan, a guard from the Bloodhound family, short brown hair, awarded a me medallion for rescuing 10 standard tourists in an incident caused by a meme. Carter, security officer from the Bloodhound family, short brown blonde hair, Small stature, often spending his leisure time at casinos in the Moment of Stars. Wolseley, a captain of the Bloodhound Guardians, short blonde hair, and stocky man 
bearing several scars from previous encounters with beams. Olamu, a detective from the Bloodhound family, short black hair, known for his unkempt stubble and excellent undercover work in investigations within underground gangs. Karina, an agent from the Bloodhound family, long gray hair, nicknamed Fireball by underground gangs due to her t tendency to wear all red attire while enforcing the law. Melanie, a reporter from the Alfalfa family, standard perpetual use sector exhibiting a mental age beyond her actual years. Gabe, a gambling agent, standard perpetual statue used to enjoy candy before gambling starts. Lothric, a place in Dark Souls. I mean, a hotel from Alfalfa family. Butler, dark curly hair, tall stature, possessing a sense of humor that attracts numerous VIP uh, customers. Lester, an auction trader, um, regularly indulging in dream joy special after work. Nagi, a project manager, shorter than average for Propeshis, maintains a calm demeanor and has generated a lot of revenue for the family. There are a total of 52 suspects at the list, followed by Sunday's notes. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. Giving head pats. <laughs> they all nice. seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Yeah, I mean, kind of feel that though. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And All right, Sunday. Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? He looks so damn smug. Like, I don't trust you at all, man. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Also, it's interesting that Acheron used her power to hide herself so she wouldn't be perceived. And yet, Sunday is still able to perceive her anyway. Mm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival. I mean, this is a fair question. The family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you. But, in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However... I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While I think he's fine. They can't break through high walls. They can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. I'm not worried about Aventurine, really. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. And yet, Sunday has failed to mention that he met with Sparkle. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. This is a veiled threat. Like, that that's a fucking threat. For sure. Bro is absolutely threatening us. 
Like, I don't, I don't trust him at all. Like, he's such a fucking weirdo. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Okay. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Kataka Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter, and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Okay. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Interesting. Are we gonna see my namesake at some point? Where's Where's Obsidian at? I know they're in there. I want to see me. How How would uh, How would Mihoyo represent me? I wonder. Let's see. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. Uh -huh. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Interesting that they would call, like, the, the eon of, like, the propagation, the Sand King. Is, is, is that one Shai Halud? Is, is this our another Dune reference here? Let's go. I'll admit that. Not actually, but it is what funny. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. Lenore, okay. To say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? Eh, I mean, he's he's pretty straight about what he wants. It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. I mean, if you say so. I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty Tonbas. I'll give you that. And. Much more than that. Well, if you say so. Status. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Power. We are currently working our way through this. Want. Even what you don't want. I like this lady. I want to see more of her. We don't know what's going on with her right now, though. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though. You deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, 
Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. Um, we are continuing because we did a stream of the first half of this story a few days ago. We are continuing along into the rest of this. We're going to hopefully finish it because I have work tomorrow. <laughs> I have I have a lot of theories about the lore that's happening right now because I come from Impact 3rd. I've been playing that since it launched. Um, so far, we've been pretty well right on the money about a lot of stuff. Very excited to see where this all goes. May your plans never suffer failure. May the knife chip and shatter. <laughs> Life is like a long-term I really can't get over the Dune references that I can make with Inventory and was not expecting that at all. Reach the correct outcomes and show the world their value. Alright. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. I wonder how like like because they, they talk about luck as if it's like an actual thing with them. How does that work exactly? So you have like an Eon's favor kind of thing? Is that like what that's supposed to be? Is it because Gaiathra Yeah, I guess here. Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. I don't I feel like I forgot the details of Gaiathra. This is inevitable. But what then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? What awaits more gambling, I guess, dude. Gamble. An even more glorious one. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure, never to return? I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea. Wait, what the hell? Lowly gambler. <laughs> That's his own voice. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, what if? <laughs> All right, what is this? Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? What? What is happening right now? To that electric chair by a mannequin warlord. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy. Stupid. I was crazy Get once. Out of my head, newborn of the harmony. <laughs> the harmony. Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be. What are you? I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death doors. I'm so confused. What are you? Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Huh. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. You know, okay. He says he's been with him from the Ravens. It's not the first time they've met. This might be death. Like, as far as thematically is concerned, that would make sense, right? Like, Ventrian's life has been nothing but ass up to this point. And he's come face to face with death many times. So maybe that's what this is. Sunday stuff did suggest that maybe there were versions of death that could speak. So that's also possible. Kakabasha, I am your future. I 
first I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? <laughs> Probably not. Why are there no guests here? Alright, chest that? time. Let's go. I need all the shinies because I've been wanting to explore this for a while, but the story keeps eating me elsewhere. What the fuck? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. I don't like children. We should uh, we should not deal with children. Not not a big children person. Are you gonna let me like explore stuff, or is it just gonna continually be? Let's not get too close to the child. See, this door's locked, so we can't get through it. Control panel must be somewhere. It's probably the other side. Alright, child, what's up with you? Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Oh, weird. It's it's young adventuring, but his eyes are different. Why are they diamond shaped now? Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm I'm really having a hard time grasping what's going on with this right now. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. And Mama Funk. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Abtons left. Yeah, I mean, you're clearly in some weird other shit that's happening, so. I got a feeling they're not going to let me wander too far. Let's see. I want... I want Akron back in my party. All or nothing. <laughs> because I do not want to deal with fighting things. Stream four. We're just I'm not dealing with with fighting stuff. All right. Thingy. Let's let's fix this thing up. Let's go. I need all the chests. That is rather confusing. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Way easier than the other one. The other one was a pain in the ass. All right, thank you. I'll take that. Other eerie building block, huh? They won't let me wander past that. So yeah, we're all, we're gonna be kind of railroaded on for a little while. Mildly annoying, but that's fine. I want to do some more exploring, but they're not gonna let me do that right yet. Uh-huh. However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panicone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat. I'm so confused. Yeah, okay, whatever. You put it like that, even ratios a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. A conspiracy. Yeah, because it's his boyfriend. Don't worry about it. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn! Are we gonna meet my evil twin today? No way! I love this. this is, I don't understand it, but I, I get it. I have some ideas, but I don't think they're really applicable here. Okay, hold on. Let me let me review this again. Wait, what? Uh, no wonder the tavern sent you an invite. So the masked fools invited of entering to join them, according to this. But he declined. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Uh, Alright. I'm a tad confuzzled, but I guess we'll figure it out. Alright, well, onwards to the next thing. Thanks for that. More words. Prisons, palaces, reverberations. I'm hearing something else. Oh, hey. Uh, Kafka, can you hit that? Nice. Uh, they won't let me wander that way. You think I can shoot that from here? I probably could, but I, I don't, I'm not going to bother with it right now. But I got to come back with um, Trailblazer and everybody else in the first place, so. Activate that. Activate that. Rotate it. Activate. Rotate. Activate. Rotate. All right, anything else around here? Oh, weird, the, the actual like um, quest log thing is, is changing up all strange. Interesting. Stream forth, the gleam of all Very interesting. And fuck you. Another puzzle back here. All right, you. Let's solve the puzzle. I want more treasure chests. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty easy. And then now we need to get here. Well, that was really easy. And then the next one. Hmm. Uh, 
the hell is that even gonna do? Oh, there it is. That's why. That wasn't too bad. All right, give me this. Thank you. I'll take that. Let's see, we'd already wandered up this direction, so I guess we're gonna... Uh, we don't need to look at that. All right, next. More cutscenes. Oh, hey, there's the thing we can go take pictures in with everybody else. When Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis. Playing dead. Man, Aventurine's had some pretty shit luck. He's he's managed to survive, which is good in its own way, but like, man, dude has not had a good life. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Your social capital has changed after all. Yeah, I guess. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. Why are you here? Like, what? What is your goal? Like, you're just here to like taunt of entry the whole time. Like, what? What do you get? Could he be in here? What do you get out of this? More stuff I can't wander into just yet. We're not going up there. As long as they let me wander, I'm going to keep wandering. Alright, let's do this one. Okay. Oh, there we go. Fairly straightforward. Next one is that. Uh, all right. There we go. Onwards. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Take that. Will they actually let me use this? Activate, rotate. Activate, rotate. Activate, activate, activate. Not too hard. Let's see. They probably want me to like do other stuff, but we're gonna open up this shortcut first. Get that. Thank you for the shortcut. Greatly appreciate it. Now onwards to down here. Whatever may be hidden here. Alright, that's a dead end. Another dead end. Another dead end. I guess it just kind of loops right into the center. Take you. I hear another chest somewhere. Stream four. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, so there's there's just treasure chests in here, but there should be another exit somewhere. 
we, we see it's like over here. It's supposed to be like right there. Weird. I don't see any other way to progress in this, so. Maybe it'll sort itself out later. If we get a higher up look, we might be able to see something we missed. And we couldn't go to the other side, I don't think. Yeah, no, it, it does go down. We can see it. So it should be a thing, but they might not let me be able to do that right yet. All right, well, back up to the top. We got the chest down there that I wanted. Wait, I heard another chest. Did you guys hear that? Mm, yeah, I guess adventuring can't interact with that. Take this. Can I kill you immediately? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, we'll see how this goes with the venturing here. Spend freely. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I I do like him. Like I said this before, but I'm very amused with his character. I didn't think I would like him. I was very like neutral. But his character writing and stuff overall has been very fun. I've been very invested in it. He's just a fun personality. It's hard not to like him. Huh. I wonder what that actually does. You know, I'll give Pentacony a lot of credit. They have some very interesting enemy designs, and I've been very, very entertained with all their enemy designs thus far. Alright, Akron, nuke him. I didn't have time to build you properly, but it's fine. Alright, we're gonna kill that stupid doggo. Oh, come on. We don't want more doggos. Spend freely. No dirty tricks. I really do think that, like, Aventurine is, is a pretty solid addition to the team. Because, like, I was using Japard in part one of this story. But I feel like Aventurine is, is a much better shield for this. I'm not... I can't tell if he's triggering Acheron's thing, though. He does seem to be, though. So it seems like he wouldn't be a bad pairing for Akron. I weep for the depart. It takes a fall. Let's see if he like let's keep an eye on like his actual tech safe he's triggering. Stuff for Akron. Yeah, okay, there's two triggered by Akron herself. <laughs> One by Kafka. Nothing major. Damn, Locha died. That's a problem. This could be an issue. I have to fix that. Watch your head. No dirty tricks on it. Lochi, you failed me, buddy. You should be doing better than this. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the Alright, can we kill this thing now? Now I gotta go resurrect uh Locha. Oh, that's fine. That child. Could he be in here? 
Uh, there should be a teleporter around here somewhere. Uh, let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, there's one here. There is a lot of stuff here, though. And, of course, there's, like, half of this map we haven't even been to yet. Well, the best we can do is continue to try to be as thorough in our exploration as possible. And resurrecting the team. Let's see. Out of my way, nerd. Same for you. Don't need you guys here. And you can get out of here, too. Consuming gold and trash? No, we'll just get the dream syrup. It's fine. Oh, there's a chest! No! A topaz? What is this doing here? Excellent question. I have no idea. Curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To tell you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Quipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of love, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. Okay, so that was bullshit when he said that earlier. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and make the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. Then yeah, I mean, that's Ratio what we gathered. True. He spoke of the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Third? I thought it was just adventuring in Topaz. What, what happened to the, what's the other one? Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me. And I'm you. We're the same. Sure, I guess. Okay, so that's a third stone. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones, who, for a measly panicone, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. 
So, where is his stone then? As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the adventuring stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Interesting. Very clever adventuring. I could create value far beyond the cost. The ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Yeah, what do these cornerstones actually do? That's the thing I've not really been clear on. Also, why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. An oh, interesting discussion. Another illusion of the harmony. Bonk. I'll take that. Very, very interesting discussion. Uh, I guess they won't let me back there yet. Hmm. No more chests, it looks like. Hey, what's up, kid? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. A, a flim? <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, Mister. You look sad. The I mean, his life is up. sad, to be fair. I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, all right. Ready? Oh, oh God. What, what the, what the fuck am I doing? Okay. Clocky's extra hamster ball night fast and fury nuts. Oh God. Press the flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. If you dodge right before you're about to crash on roadblock, you'll trigger turbo dash. Spend a short period of invulnerability. Energy will be accumulated by triggering turbo dash and picking up supplies. When energy is full, you will enter Nutty Blitz and experience a long period of invulnerability. A, a film's length is limited to movie mode. Progress bar indicates the filming progress. Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, I, oh, I see. Okay, I got it. All right, I see how it is. This is kind of 
nice. Yeah, this is easy. No problem. Biggest DRS thing. What is. Did I get everything? Uh, let's see. Let's do a reshoot and we'll try it again, see if I can get a perfect score on this. Now that I know how it works. Let's go. You gotta get like really close next to them to be able to do anything. Safety car. I got another achievement. Let's try it one more time. I might be able to get it even more perfect. It's not really all that hard. So I think I messed up like one thing, so. I should be able to get it. All right, was that better than my last one? I don't, I think 3450, no it wasn't. Weird. I don't know what I did wrong there. Not a bad score, eh? Boring. Okay, what were the, what were the hell were these achievements anyways? Let a sheet without any damage to the mode and clock these extras. Perform a turbo dive 10 times in a row without mistakes or interruption. Oh, fun. Okay. Reach maximum energy again within the duration of the blitz or Hano's time and any clockiest things. That... Okay, so we'll just have to do that again a few times. No big deal. Oh, wow. I haven't done this yet? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I have that to do, too. I forgot about that. Is there... Oh, sequel mode. Oh, wait, there's more stuff. Nice. Oh, so we did this. Obtained 2,000 points. Oh, wow, they have so many of these. Oh, shit. There's, like, there's a bunch of these to do. That's fun. Uh, I think we'll, we'll put this off till later. But yeah, that'll be a thing I can do later. That's a lot of fun. Right now we want to progress the plot. So we'll just come back to that later. Should be really easy though. All right, well we already set this up, so we're good. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Uh-huh. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. If you say so. Well, considering I've already set up a lot of it, it's fine. Yep, let's go! I should have guessed it was going to send me back to this. Rocket new water. Right, is the door actually going to be there this time? Oh. Oh, is this the wrong way? 
Probably not. It, is this? No, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. How much is that exactly? I don't know what that actually means. Because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of the evil sentiment. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. They're far more useful. Like this is the only place the family ever cut corner. Not entirely sure what they're getting at. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breathing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Oh, I have no idea. Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? Sh sure. What's this one? I mean, I guess? You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. It's the sentimental thing. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Vixis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops. And can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The word's still ringing. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. All right.
<laughs> I like his delivery. It's fun. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create this I still have no idea what this version of entry is supposed to be. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? <sighs> hmm. It's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Look at that! They added it back anyway. This was not here a minute ago, I feel like. Finally. Made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Damn. I can't go over there yet. Soon, TM. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, well. Let's activate that. Activate that. Activate that. Activate that. Activate that. Rotate that. Okay, so let's close this one. Those first three are probably right. That's probably right. Interesting. All right, let's see. That goes nowhere. It has to go that way. No! <laughs> God. How am I able to actually do this? Because I, I have no more energy to do. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, how do we do this? Click on a plate because the energy activated. Once activated, it can be rotated. Yeah, okay, I got that. How do we even do this? Because that doesn't go anywhere. How do we get it to do a thing? Let's see, that goes that way.
Uh, let's see. No, that doesn't go that way either. Okay, so this has to go there, which means it has to come from this direction, which means it has to come from that one. Okay, so how do we do that? See, that doesn't seem very useful. But it has to go through that, right? It's like, that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, you know what? It's this right here. That's why. The rest of this is a red herring. And I bet the rest of that is useful for something else. Yeah, see? Because there's a thing over there. That's why it's there. It's just there to confuse you. All right, well, let's do, first, we're gonna yank this little bastard out of here. <laughs> Items obtained. Oh, I got a happy gear. I didn't even expect to do that. All right, let's do some more puzzles. Uh, That's probably there. That's there. That goes there, 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 and here. No problem. All right, let's go play around with this thing. And oh, we got that dealt with. All right, let's see. Let's even close. We can just close all of these. We don't need to rotate them as long as they sit where they're supposed to be. <coughs> oh. That's very cleverly hidden, though. Secret party! Nice. Gimme that! Very nice. So now all we have to do is... We just... Rotate that one again. You can close these all. Just leave them where they are. And then just reconnect these. Yep. Confirmed to be left. We just had to set it back up. Easy peasy. Break you. I think they want me to go that way, but I refuse. Gate is locked. Panel must be somewhere else. Guess we'll find it later. Brother Hanu, where are you going? I hear the things. It's, okay, well there's that up there. I'm hearing stuff, but I don't know where it all was coming from. Yep, 
Yeah, that's fine. There it is. Yep, I needed that, thank you. Can't do shit, can you, bitch? Get out of here. Oh, hell yeah! I got my rocket launcher, let's go! I I still love being schmoll, it's a lot of fun. Hey, there's another chest too, I knew I was hearing stuff. I'd look for more explosive things elsewhere, you never know what we'll find. Locking the origami bird can be careless, but not, not this guy. I only just, just scoot right by you here, friend. Yeah, give me that back, please. Thank you. Nice. You know, if everybody is supposed to be like a person that was in the real thing, like who is the origami bird actually? You know? Like you kind of have to wonder. Very curious. Alright, well, I guess we're going back to more stuff. First, that one. Yep, thanks for that. Give me this. Give me that back, please. Uh, I'm not seeing any chests showing up, so we probably got everything we need. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look-see at this puzzle. There you go. There you go. There, there. There's that one. And that. Oh, actually, this goes over here. Ba bam, ba bam. Easy! Alright, uh, I'll take that origami bird. I wonder who the origami bird is supposed to be in the actual story. Like, if Clocky's the watchmaker, like, and we know like the rest of them, like who who are they supposed to be really? Oh, we're back to another one of these uh, sets here. Interesting. Stream four. Gleam of old flames. Well, not a problem. I can beat the fuck out of some shit. Bonk. 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 Get out of here, dudes. I don't need any of that. What I need is stuff. Let's give me this one again. Yeah, I kind of figured I wasn't going to be able to kill him instantly. Which is fine. Energy regenerated. What? Did that did that benefit me? 
time to say bye. Weird. I weep for the departed. That was a really strange thing. I've never seen them do that. Or at least if they have, I never pay attention to it. Stand still. How dare! Rude ass T Rex. Or maybe I'll take it off. Nah, it's fine, Locha. Don't worry about it, buddy. <coughs> we should be able to deal with this thing, no problem. Damn. Really fucked up my uh, party here. Receive divinity. Repay. All right, now we can only focus on the T-Rex, so we should be all right. Beat his ass, Acheron. Let's go. Mm, she's not doing the damage I want her to do, but that's because we haven't really built her properly yet. I don't have the, the stamina to do that. Not when I'm trying to get her talents and shit all leveled up. Her and Bocha. I haven't looked at Gallagher yet. He's he's very small right now, not very useful yet. Though I know you can use him in um, parties with Acheron. I'm also more so just waiting for like the Fushuan rerun so I can have her. I want the Let's Go Lesbians team. Though I got a feeling that whenever Venturine drops, they're gonna have Topaz as a rerun, and I definitely want Topaz too. I mean, I wanted her the first time, and I kind of missed that. Which is unfortunate. Alright, you guys have almost got it. Come on, squad. I believe in you guys. Dead. Easy. You give me my rewards. I want the treasure chests. You give me that. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. Yeah, loot. Exactly. See, Akira knows what's up. Maybe she's secretly a loot goblin like myself. Oh, wait, they have more of these? Or is it the same one? They do have more of these. They're all different. Oh, that's fun. I like that. We'll do one while we're here. What was the flip button? Was it R1 or L1? Uh, it's an action scene. Um... So basically, it's the same thing as all the rest. So now we have an attack thing. Wait, how did that not work? Oh, I see. We have to be below them. All right, no, I, I, I get what you, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I see ya. Slow road to hell. <laughs> Let's do a reshoot on that one. Because now, now that I understand it. This, this is nice though. I like this. It's very like casual, super easy. Fuck! I keep forgetting about that. Uh, 
All right, let's do it one more time. We'll do it perfect this time. No missing shit this time. I might not have got that one thing, but we'll try our best here. I mean, that was that was pretty solid, as good as we could get. That's our best record. All right, well, we did one. We won't be doing any more for now, but that's that's good for no, the moment. We'll do more later. I mean, yes, but I'm busy looking at other stuff right now. Yoink. Come here, little burb. Get out of here! Oh, uh, they're probably gonna send me down this way again. Uh, all the better for me to collect all the things before we move along to the next area. Can I like bypass the kid? Four. Formidable foe defeated. You damn right it is. Oh, hey, uh, another shortcut. Nice. All right, kid. I guess we can talk. I don't know why, Mister, but you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. It's because you two are probably the same person. Get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Hmm. You're. Coming back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. This amusement park, this beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? Because life is a struggle. <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? Dead and gone. You song meme. <laughs>
Uh, I guess. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Uh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, you know. So are they refer uh, when they talk about the Stellaron, are they referring to like a separate one from Stella or something else? I'm not really clear. I feel there's another one, though. I'm curious about this diamond character. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? My, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yeah, I guess so. Cheese. Cheese is good. Yes. I could go get some cheese, actually. I have some. Which is the same question they pose as a child as well. Maybe. Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. I wonder if they'll actually kill a Venturine off. the treasure chest first. Thank you. Yeah, there you go, kid. <laughs> How nice. So I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? You know, I do feel like Star Rail's, like, children models are generally better than they are in Genshin. Generally? Not all of them, but, like, a, a lot of them feel like they're at least a little more thought put into, like, the overall models. Like, I feel like that's actually gets for most of all of the 3D models in Star Rail. Like, when it comes to how they've designed a lot of stuff, how they've set up the characters, there feels like more variation, like they're not built off of like just default character models and just adjusting it from there. That's what Genshin really feels like. Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. And yeah, we went that way already. I'm actually a 
Merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. <laughs> Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. S sure, kid. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. All right, let's turn that on, rotate it, activate, rotate, activate, 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 activate. Easy peasy. I hope they won't make me redo that one. No! You put the chest over there and I can't get to it! Damn it! Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Alright, what do we got here? Looks like we're back to the start. Time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Well, Put yeah. Palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. Of course I know. I mean, he is like the last surviving member of his race, so. This is where we go our own way, Katavasha. Catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. Will surely hold a festival today. All right. The aid of this ring, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little did Cadigans know. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Cadigans stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Relying on the IPC to help you is maybe not the, the best decision. Will never take action. We would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? I mean, this? the good fortune is only whenever you live, I think, is like the gist of it. The Afjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Abjin will never run dry. So run, Kakapasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. The rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. All right. Well, reincarnation is a thing in the Honkai universe, so. May the goddess Gaiathra close her eyes three times, keep your blood eternally pulsing, 
Let your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakashi. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms... All right, let's see what happens. ...small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson Sucks to expresses suck. his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all Jeez! Exactly, Charlie. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? Some heavy stuff, man. Genocide's no joke. This this is um this is serious shit. Bye. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. Serious shit. Before you go, I have a personal question. Oh, we're going back to this now. You do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Hmm. Going back to Stella's POV. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Alright, does it, I wonder if Acheron has anything to say about this. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely Acheron, do you recognize Himiko, your mentor? You can call me Glocky. Uh... <laughs> March is so done. Hello? This is a long arc. Yeah, it's going on for a bit. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you, and we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on which is why, yeah. before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... Create a situation where all three parties are present? Yeah, sure, why not? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. 
I mean, yeah, pretty much. There's a lot going on here. I am the bone of my bat. The Stellaron is my body and Trowblaze is my blood. <laughs> Let's go. You're talking weird again. But March, I always talk weird. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penicone. I I love just that they give me goofy ass shit to say every time. I'm I'm here for it. To solve the mystery of the watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, Miss Acheron? You have anything to say, Himiko Acheron? You should. I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! God, I want her to have something. Uh, Come on, you had to have your own version of Himiko, right? Surely you did. No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. There he is, right on time. Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Alright, yeah, let's go. God damn, this is a long ass arc. I thought I was about halfway through last time, but apparently not. Now let's get that one. Alright, we got any stuff to do? Any warping? We do. We get another Acheron? Nope. Let's try again. Give me Acheron! I want E2 Acheron, come on. Well, my luck is piss bad, so... Unsurprising. <clears throat> A damn shame, but unsurprising. Anything in here I want or need? Uh, not too much. We're not worried about that. Come on! Damn you! Alright, well. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Always. Let's fucking Don't go. Waste no time and head to the theme park then. Oh, I just saw a thing I missed. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story. Look at that little fucking bird I didn't get. I see you. Mental note, go get the bird from that. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. And the fact that when you left Earth, you already had a version of May that you could trust implicitly, so it's fine. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation... The odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor. I will stand with you. Thanks, May. If my meager strength is required. Meager strength, she says. And she's like one of the strongest fucking characters in the game right now. <laughs> You're too humble. You're too humble. All right. Before we do this, because this is going to be a big thing. I have to take another pee break. Be right back.
And we're back. Yes, it was a pee break. All right. Hold oh, actually, recommended. Ooh. Oh, that's going to be rough. Because my I don't have a team that's really good for this. Definitely not this team, for sure. Let's see. We have Jing Liu here. She does pretty good. Our regular team will probably be able to handle it. If we want to ensure victory, our regular team is probably going to be the good one to use. As much as I want to put Akron in this, I, I don't know that she'll be good against a boss. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Yeah, dude. That guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Yeah, look at that guy. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Well, we got a lot of shit to look at. Oh, they're not gonna let me wander. We got the ominous music starting too. All right, let's see how this is going. You're late. And this guess. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Miss Devara. <laughs> Mommy, look, I'm on TV. <laughs> God, I look, look how just happy Stella is for this. <laughs> you think Kafka's seen this? She definitely saw it, right? Our mom definitely saw it. March is not happy. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. Uh, of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. Three? She is the key to proving that the family's death Robin? Dreams promise is nothing Firefly. She's a goob like you, exactly. Three homicides? Yeah, exactly. Who the fuck is the third one? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here, in Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. Why? You will become the personification of death. How you figure? What are you on about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what the fuck is he on about? A, a good counterpoint. He won't do it. Of course I can. It's 
He can, but he won't. That's that's a that's a very important note here of what he says. He says you won't because I can. He can, but he won't. I have heard that actually. I mean, I guess if you say so. The dice are cast. Okay, so the bird's not Acheron. Ready to unveil your cards. The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming. All right. <laughs> I wasn't expecting us to fight this one. All right. Well. Ooh, this is music though. Yo. This is a bop. A decisive moment in the battle. It, it, look, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh, okay. I'm I'm digging this though. Oh wait, he's reducing my my ability to do stuff. Oh, well, let's do this. Break your bullshit. I uh, we don't need to heal anybody yet. Mm, Alright, let's see. Let's do that. Oh, we're doing pretty good damage, all things considered. Let's go ahead and boost our attack. And get our Ron May thing going. Go back to you, get this going. To guard and defend. Crush them. Ready for death. <laughs> Rude asshole. Eternal. Uh, ow. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Tedious. All will be revealed. Alright, fuck off, Aventurine. Alright, phase one down. I guess so. Alright, 
Right, so basically, you're telling me that I need to um to roll the gotcha right now. Believe believe it. Like you just just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. It doesn't matter. That's what you're telling me here. All right, we need to use Wahawa to heal, but it won't let me because of course it won't. I guess we'll take that. Uh, all right. I don't know how this works. Every petal in my all will be swept away by the wind. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Stand down. What does that do? That sucks. Okay, that that wasn't great in terms of damage. Uh, yeah, we need to go to Huahua again. Yeah, that was not great in terms of damage, but we should be able to recover from that. God, this shit again? Don't make me do this again. Attack as many targets as possible. Ooh, okay, so we need like an AoE thing. Which is not great. Four, all right. Oh, okay, I see. So they're probably gonna kill off my characters now. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we don't die. Let's go back to you. Let's do this too. Let's see how we do. Should be fine. Need to heal everyone over here. So this is the one the Go to Jing Liu, boost her damage. Alright, get fucked, Aventurine. Alright, you you Dunion rings, my guy. This is it. Yeah, we'll do the gamble again. Uh, well, this is a problem. Damn it! Let's see. First, let's do this. You know, I don't need to do this. I'm definitely doing this anyway. Facing this. I don't have to go this hard on beating his ass, but we're about to. All will be revealed. Bye, Venturine! It was good fighting you, buddy. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy too? Why can't I feel that free? Alright. Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. So you say. How does he have this much fucking power? Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. Only by casting aside reason does one truly gamble. 
the fuck is this? All right, Acheron, what are you gonna do? You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle, what do you hope to find in a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. Yep, Herkiana's dead, so she has nothing. I'm afraid the family Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Hmm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. That is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Huh. What does that mean in this context? <laughs> Ooh. All right, May. Let's see what your powers are now. Wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. Ooh, we got the good music too. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. God damn. But I got a feeling he wanted this to happen, so the question is why. Ooh, that was pretty. Ooh, that looked nice. She replied, I want to die. Interesting. Oh, no, we can't do that. Interesting. Welcome to Skegness. Welcome to the sad world. Kakabasha. Oh, there, there's young Aventurine. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Hmm. What's up, Acheron? Nility. Is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But 
The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. I love this outfit like design for her so much. This is very good. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? A good question. Let's find out. Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. Uh huh. They use the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. I'm trying to figure out what they were talking about here. If the mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. I like how there's like a subtle tone in the way that Akron speaks here. You're very lucky. 
that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. Again, very, very subtle difference in how she's doing her stuff now, and I like it. A little bit more bite to it. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stelron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Hmm. Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Hmm. Again with the red text here. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. I like how she sounds, like, low-key pissed off. <laughs> it's great. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. I like how her answer here is basically the exact same thing that she says in the Elysian Realm arc. The ending might be predetermined, but how we get there is our own business. And because of this, the end will thus. That's literally verbatim. Let's go. <laughs> That's literally like the exact phrasing from the Elysian Realm. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's literally what she tells Aponia before she goes off into like Elysia's little cordoned off section of the Elysian Realm. Ah, oh, yeah, love to see it. That was Ellie's answer too. Nice. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. Oh, she's talking about the thing that Ratio gave him. The baby bottle. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. 
do not alive. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. I thought it said do not alive, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> then I shall get going. What's up, kid? Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. Very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing for what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Hmm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> But you still seem nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? I didn't expect this whole, like, update to be really focused on a Venturian story. Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping, Keeping your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. Your, your schemes... schemes Forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. May really use fucking domain expansion on this dude. <laughs> With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descended into the slumber of tonight. Until the denouncement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. And every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all. To weather tempests one after another. Till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream... The once falling die has at last landed on the earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. The fuck? The hell does that mean? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. 
Nom nom the people's dreams. I mean, exactly. We already did impact third. Teddy literally ate dreams. It's a thing that happens. Consumed. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. You try to open your eyes, but you find only blackness before you. Whose POV is this? Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventry unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Akron drawing her blade, and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. It doesn't matter, I need to get out of here. You're awake. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. What's up, Sam? Just what's happening here? Crevice between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier. To reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined. And it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. All right. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So... There is only one method that I use. This is to show you. What's up? That I am. Well, how about that? Sam is Firefly, which I actually already knew because Twitter leaks. <laughs> Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. All right. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have Again with the bird. Talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. It's a little interesting response here. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Okay. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. The, the bird has to be Black Swan, right? Or someone we don't know. Sparkle, maybe, perhaps, but I doubt it. And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because 
My target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that charming... Yeah, who is the Dream Master exactly? I feel like I haven't heard much about them. Isn't that right, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. So, the people who died. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. En Enigmata. I don't know what that is. Is that like another Eon? <laughs> <laughs> you have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. All right. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. So he didn't kill Robin? You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? I still don't trust him. <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Damn. We killed Sunday too. Let's go. It became goo. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. That's that's some nice nice art there. Well, shit. We got a lot of stuff there. So Gallagher's actually the bad guy? That's fun. I like that. I still don't trust Sunday though. That motherfucker's got some weird shit up his sleeve. Uh, family short stats on hiring dream chasers with exceptional skills and temporary security officers. Um, all right. How about this one? Security check may get some really close. However, to satisfy our customers, we'll continue to provide and this stuff. You trust the park's closed. Clock Studios was not founded by the family. We operate based on our chairman, the watchmaker's philosophy. We won't compromise our own interests for the family. For the info, okay, yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff. Why these terms sound so weird? It's a kind of scam. I mean, that's just for copyright protection. All right, sure. Uh, I'll get to the program. Is, hmm, charge, what? All right. A bit strange, but all right. New Dreamscape handbook page. Oh, nice. New thingies. 
How are we doing on this stuff? We got a lot of shit here. Um, Alright, so let's look at this. This is the stage where you and the gambler put on a petrifying collaborative show. He wagered everything into the gamble, yet appeared indifferent to the idea of winning. Why'd he do that? Um, uh, let's see. Well, he wanted to cause a death that would thus create an opening for the IPC. Seems to me the idea. Akron, the emanator of nihility, helped him to complete his task to perfection. He could have used all the resources from the IPC hat, as well as info and even the lives of his underlings, but he wagered himself instead. Was that of kindness or cunning or strategy? We will never know. And there's a lot of shit I don't have in here. We're going to go to the trouble looking for all that stuff later. We'll find it later. The stars drift across the dream's artificial sky. They say the great souls will eventually become stars in the sky that guide their way for those on the ground below. The stars of Pentaconia are woven by countless dream chasers. What will you ponder when you raise your head? Um... They're not different from the masses. Uh, we'll just do the Path of Trailblaze one. This is very even elegant. Yeah, and, and very intentionally so, I would add to add on that. Let's see what stickers we have in here. We got most of them! Nice! Let's just go ahead and put a bunch of stickers in here. I, I must have missed a shitload of stickers. Let's go ahead and just do this. Looking for all the stickers was a huge pain in the ass. I did like do this off stream. It took me forever to actually get through it. And let's grab this. Alright. Hello, Robin. We'll put you up here. And I don't know who you are. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Let's let's move Robin down here. Actually, we should have this one to use. Note stickers. We have none of the note stickers. Yeah, that's gonna be a bitch. All right, sticker collection. Yeah, we've got we got a lot of shit left to catch. What the, what the fuck even is this? I don't even have this. I don't even know how to get to that. We already did this. Oh, that's going to take forever to get through. Alright, travel log. We got this. Oh, we can pick something. I guess. We can we can claim a character. I don't know who I need, though. Misha, maybe? Oh, hey! We get to their current Eidolon level. Oh, that's so helpful. Very helpful. Alright, cool. So we'll be able to do that once we actually do whatever this event is. All right, where the hell is this? Oh, we can touch Sibahan again. Or Sivan, whatever her name is. Fuck yeah, that's exciting. A lot of little side quests to do. Let's see, go back over here to this. We will collect that. Thank you very much. And over here. Yeah, give me that one. Let's do another pull. Come on. Give me another Acheron. Let's go. No, we got Pella. And I don't even need Pella. She's already, like, maxed out. Don't even need her. All right, let's try this again. Come on, Acheron. Let's go. Nope. Not a damn thing. Damn. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to talk to Mag to rack this one up, I think. Uh, let's see. Can I charge a fee for the Trailblazer Blessing? My right, final request. Uh, don't you want to ask, uh, did you send it yourself? The package was sent by a Nameless. The Nameless received it from another one long before. Countless generations of Nameless have passed the package down and now it has reached you. This is a legacy that belongs to the Nameless, so you probably know what my request is, right? You want me to mail it out? Absolutely, picked it right away. My objective is to send it the latest regards to more Nameless from the distant cosmic past. Now you're a veteran Nameless, spread the luck of this departure. 
I didn't realize I'm about to become a seasoned veteran. Nice. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't really care what you have to say. Why well, is Paxil on the table? I have to report so much emotion value to it. The package still didn't end up getting sent out. No, wait, this doesn't look like Cosmodicy. You see Mag's message. You seem to be having a blast, and I was kind of worried that you wouldn't get enough of it, so I left you a Cosmodicy that doesn't have prizes. Keep playing it if you like. Mag the Nameless. Nice. So we can just play Monopoly whenever we feel like it. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Alright, Wawa, what's up with you? While I was away, I stopped by. You shouldn't have. Fine. As a cursed one, I've always on the first day we met, but it had luck. You give me Stella Jade's though, that's great. She doesn't want me to curse one? I'll show you some cursed shit. Let me let me find this so you guys can see this this fucking nonsense, alright? Because this This is pain. This is the most pain of all. Where is it? Let's let's just uh, let's take a look here at my Star Rail luck. I warp eighty six percent more than all users, but I am unluckier than eighty five point five percent of users. And when it comes to five star luck, I'm unluckier than seventy eight point six percent of users. I'm in the bottom twenty two percent and fifteen percent respectively. This is absolute fucking pain. This is the worst. Why is my luck so bad in Star Rail? <laughs> it's horrible. Why is it like this? What did I do to deserve this, Mihoyo? Come on. <laughs> That's not nice. That's rude as hell. And you know what? Just to prove it, why don't we, uh, why don't I go ahead and do some 10 pulls? Again, I had a dono, so we can use a dono real fast. I'm gonna go to my, my waiting soon screen so I can buy some stuff for this. We're gonna use this. We'll see. All right, now that you guys won't see my credit card stuff. Let's just see how bad my luck is, right? Let's just go, let's see. Nope, nothing on that one. We got Yukong again though, which is, I guess, okay. Let's do another 10 pull. Will we get E2 Acheron? Probably not. Well, I said that, but that's a five star. <laughs> Let's see. Will we win the will we win the 50-50 on this? I think it's a 50-50. Let's see. Did we get E2 Acheron? Or did I get somebody else? Hi Pela, we didn't need you. And we lost our 50-50. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking typical. <laughs> You see why my luck sucks? This is why. <laughs> Typical. Hi, Bronya. I use you at least, but like, come on. Come on. <laughs> this is why my luck is butt ass. So awful every fucking time. Just, it's, this just, it's fucking pain, man. Why? I mean, again, look at this. I've already got- Oh, she's E4! I don't need her to be higher. <laughs> I mean, again, she's useful, but like, come on! Come on with this! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Every time. So let's go level up Yukong. Where's her Eidolon at? The heavens are vast. God the damn it. Where it wishes. Why is my luck just so s just trash? Well, I guess we'll go ahead and do all these single pulls here. It's just how it is. It's just pain. I wanted E2 Acheron, but you're gonna make me roll all of the fucking monies for this, and I don't wanna. So fucking rude. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
Uh, let's see. This is our, our new event, so we'll just go talk to her real fast. It's just, it's pain. Everything is pain. I hate it here. Alright, well, let's go back over to our Acheron team. What's up? Didn't we already meet before? You should listen up. This place is quiet, but that's okay. We can talk whatever we want to hear. Your conversation with Gallagher last time go well. He might look like he doesn't care about anything, but he's actually got a lot on his mind. Otherwise, he wouldn't be a regular here. My place is offers nothing but joy. Did you ask me out just to tell me that? <laughs> Chatting is just a way to get closer to each other. As long as the conversation fulfills its purpose, it doesn't matter what we actually talk about. Don't you think so? Right, you seem more relaxed now. I invited you here because I needed your help. Are you interested in the art of mixing drinks, especially after seeing how well Gallagher does it? Something unexpected has come up, and I need to be away for a while. I'm looking for someone to take my place temporarily. I think you've got the talent to ace the job. What you say? J why me? I just go with my gut. I just have a reason for that. Come on, try it. Don't be nervous. I got you step by step. All right. I can do some drink mixing. All right, let's choose the mini wine glass first. All right. Glass of different volumes, and that determines the number of ingredient portions that can be fit inside. Let us continue with the next steps. Add a large amount of ice cubes. All right. Each drink has three flavors, sweetness, intensity, and thickness. Let's follow the steps and add a portion of practitioner pepper first. All right. This is the flavor tag resulting in from the change in sweetness. All right. Next, we add Ice Soul Glad. Stirring will mix the ingredients in the glass together, which can change the drink's appearance. Okay, I see. Object desires a thick drink. I mean, we, we did have some. I actually would hate the texture of that. If you made a mistake, you can simply empty the, the glass here. The basic moves are now done. The next step is to complete the drink. So we'll do this. Interesting. All right. Well, next. Select origami bird. All right. That looks kind of good, though. You get a hang of things already. Technique-wise, you, you are a pass. Am I really a genius? Do we get ahead of yourself? We're just getting started. <laughs> They're like, nah, dude. Don't worry about it. Knowing the mixing technique is a prerequisite to becoming a drinksmith. However, it takes more than that to serve drinks that impress your guests. The most crucial skill that a good drinksmith needs is listening. Drinksmithing is all about having conversations with your guests. Yeah, we gotta do the bartender role, man. This this is like a, an event made perfect for Madi. Madi would, this is her thing. She'd be great at this. Drinks are magical. A beautiful glass of liquid, a cozy ambience, and a little bit of conversational skills are all you need to make someone open up. This might sound a bit esoteric, but I believe you have a knack for it. I can tell you're someone with empathy. Not only that, but you can also read someone's mind and even regulate their emotions. You're flattering me. Well, I might be exaggerating things, but I'm sure you know how good you are at connecting with people. I saw you have a good time talking with Amiki last time. I know her well. She can be clingy. And it's not easy to convince her to leave without making a fuss. So I believe you're the right fit for the job. What you say? I'll take your silence as a yes. I'll stay silent then. Haha, <laughs> you got a great sense of humor. You're like really cut out for this. Before we start, I need to give you a heads up. The name of this place is Dream Jolt Holstery. And there's something unique about it. At this lounge, we don't serve the guest dream chaser, the guests or dream chasers in Pentaconi, but the monsters staying in this hotel in the dreamscape. They used to be the members of the Sweet Dreams troop that served the family. As you should know, the dreamscape is collapsing. The negative emotions have altered the temperament of the troop members turning them into uncontrollable monsters. I stay here to help them stabilize their emotions and restore them to their original form, which can be a long process. If the issue isn't resolved, they'll revert to the frenzy state, which is the last thing I want to see. Please take care of the monsters while I'm not around. I remember the Monster Protection Society. Is there such a society? If you don't mind, you can invite your fellow members here for team building. I'd love to meet them. Well, those monsters aren't aggressive, so they won't hurt you. It's just that their personalities can be a little abrasive, so you need to be more patient. 
You can find details about their conditions in the troubleshooter. Feel free to flip through it and jot down stuff in it. All right. I guess we're making drinks for monsters. Not where I expected this to go. Let's let's just start with a. Uh... The respective emotional troubles are recorded here. You'll need to chat and make drinks for the monsters and gain their trust this way. After gaining their complete trust, you'll be able to obtain an item to access their inner world. Introductions are basically done. Let's continue our conversation earlier. Making drinks for the monsters to gain their trust and help their emotional troubles is the job of the drinksmith at Dream Jolt Holstery. That makes me a counselor? Uh, you can put it that way. A chance to have an in-depth conversation with monsters doesn't come right every doesn't come by every day. Consider it a perk. Actually, your job is pretty much the same: to listen to the needs of the monsters and provide suitable drinks for them. Try talking to them as much as possible. They really hate to be lonely. Still remember what I said just now? Drinks are magical things that can make someone open up. What a drinksmith can achieve is so much more than you might expect. Now I leave the Dream Jolt Holstery under your care. Alright. I guess we're gonna give monsters drinks. That sounds kind of fun. Don't panic. You have to get used to speaking to customers one-on-one -on -one like this. I really like her a lot. Like, I like this design. I fuck with this. This is good. This is very good. Uh, your mission is to resolve the monster's emotional troubles. You'll be able to see your progress here. Finish serving your customers or in tips that the monsters leave you. You know what's funny? And in pack third right now, we've got like the the sweet tooth event happening. Where we're doing basically the same thing of just giving off drinks and meals to people. <laughs> I guess Mihoyo has been on like a thing with this. They really just want you to have like a cafe or something. Alright. Let's go serve them then. The ingredients are all on the lounge. The whole range. Feel free to use them. I won't charge you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'll pay you based on your workload if the customers are happy. The pay will satisfy you for sure. I'm watching things from over here. Take it easy and dive into your work. What's up, dude? Hey, take a look at this. New drinksmith. Let me guess. You owe Sivan some money, which is how you got roped into working here. That must be it. I knew it. Sivan looks soft-spoken and treats people so gently. She's quite the talker. Whenever she's on the street, people always ask if she wants to become a celebrity. But she's definitely a devil in disguise. Be straight with me. How much do you owe her? Let's see. Hey, can I help you with that? Uh... I still not able to pay it back. I was, like, I was like, you do that? For Let's try this one. Are you kidding me? You didn't really think I was going to help you pay off her debt? I was saying, I know a place where you can strike it rich. In the back of the hotel in the dreamscape, <laughs> there's a monster that looks like an alarm clock and enjoys having people tell it off. So, you could go over and spit a few sentences at it. Maybe that'll put it in a good mood and then it'll give you all its money. Remember, you can't say that I was the one who told you. Ha ha ha. Okay, now to a good drink, Smith, and put it in order for me. Let's get the bitter ones. Let me think. I think... I want that! That that lost Twilight. I remember seeing this drink on the drink menu. Alright. Er, er, uh, lost Twilight! Alright. Well, let's start it up then. Select the wine glass. The, the large wine glass we want. Alright. I guess this is what we're rolling with. Next. More ice. Next. Soothing soda. Let's get two of those. Red sunset sauce. Stir it. Ooh, it's a nice purple color. I like that. Get some more red sunset sauce. Alright, that looks good. It's like the Robin card. Nice. Complete mix. Very bitter, very mellow. The bitter tons of creators are so unique. I'm so in love. Since it's so soothing. Ah, it looks like I'm all sleepy now. I get sleepy from alcohol, too. It really does happen. Oh, I love this little icon. That's great. Oh, whoa, whoa. The color of this drink suits me so well. Look at how deep and proud, profound I am. So deep that I'm flying. What was I saying? Oh, the hotel the dreamscape is not safe. Savon doesn't let us go too far, and just between us, I saw lots of people over there a few days ago. 
They were all wearing something like black suits. They wanted to arrest me when they saw me. I was so shocked I got teary-eyed. And in the end, guess what? They don't even dare to step foot in here. <laughs> I stood inside and stared wild, or started wildly mocking them. They were so mad that smoke was coming out of their ears. All they could do was walk away with their tails between their legs. Pretty interesting, right? I'm a little thirsty. Bring me another super intense drink. One that reminds me of the joys of playing tricks on them. Activate the Drinksmith Simulator. Alright. I'm a little thirsty. Another drink that tastes super intense. This time the customer didn't order a specific drink. They just mentioned a flavor they want to try. Um, you can check the flavor tag of each drink here and see if it matches the customer's request. The filter function can help you quickly find the drink requirements. Well, that's fine. A super intense thing. So let's take a look. Very strong, very thick. There's that one. Um, <coughs> this one's very straight and very strong. Uh, definitely not this one. Um, and not that one either. Uh, let's see. Clockwise sleep talk, very sweet, very strong, refreshing. Slightly sweet, very strong, very thick. Uh, I'm feeling like this one. Clockwise sleep talk. I feel like that sounds about right. The super size vintage glass. Yeah, let's try that one. Less ice. Next. Dream jam. Then an ice soul glad. Alright. I guess we'll try it. Select the clocky card. Uh, I just thought shiny gold coins. I like the sweetness you've created. It feels more like I'm flirting. Bottoms up. I love it. Such exciting flavors. I mean, it does look pretty tasty. It's like a very fruity drink. I'd be down for that. Drink this. Let's see. It feels like the bitter emotions of those people in black suits. It's like going home crying to your mother. <laughs> With all that said, I feel very way more comfortable. I guess even a bad drinksmith is still a drinksmith who can spare you a word or two. Hiccup. I think I've had enough. I'm off. Take care of yourself, newbie. Don't let that Sivan eat you alive. I mean, she's really chill. I like her. This little way Spade talks is a bit crazy, but they seem pretty easy to get along with. All right. After serving it once, Spade's trust in you has increased. All right, let's see the results section. Uh, all right, so we got a lot of tips. Cool. Mr. Bigwig, what's up, dude? I'm Soda Dog. Just the sight of me brings people joy. You look pretty tired. Is there anything I can help with? You're so kind, thanks. No need to thank me. Even if I agree to help, I won't lift a paw to help. And that's because I'm a dog. I can't do anything. You shouldn't have had high expectations of me in the first place, wolf. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I can't argue with it. Is he trying to rile me up on purpose? You're getting angry, aren't you? You're getting angry. ANGRY! Wolf. But you're the drinksmith for this lounge, so even if you're mad, you still gotta make me a drink. Isn't that right? You're too kind. Thank you. Listen up. I want a refreshing drink, please, wolf. Pretty please, wolf. Is there an option to toss this dog out? I'll prepare the drink. You want something really refreshing? We had one. That was this one. Yeah, we gave you this one. What do you mean it'll fail to meet his demands? What are you talking about? This this says very refreshing. What are you talking about? All right, less ice for this one. We'll, oh, we already did this one once before. I mean, I could just serve him shit as well because you know, being an ass. All right, I love this drink, Wolf newbie. You are top of the pack when it comes to serving customers. Wolf, so I have a question, Wolf. Um, with so many fun places out there, how'd you come to be, how'd you come to here be here, at the Drinksmith? Um, because I'm passionate about mixing drinks. 
Just listen to yourself. Do you even believe in what you just said? It's no good to lie. This isn't your lounge. Spending your time and energy to satisfy other people's demands. You're working a job. If you're just here working a job, you shouldn't use the title of Drinksmith. A fancy title isn't going to cover your essence. I've almost reached my limit of endurance. You're a bigger pain than Spade. You really have emotional problems. I'm emotionally stable. So emotionally stable that you'll be annoyed. Is there a problem with that? What about yourself, Wolf? As the Drinksmith, making harsh comments about your customers is rude and inappropriate. Uh, Don't you think you... You're the one crossing the line here. I don't discuss this with you anymore. We'll just do this. Am I? I mean, maybe. Let's make a deal. If you use their words to attack the other person, will also be declared a dog. It's fair, right? That should be no problem. Wolf. Wolf. There's nothing much to say. Better just continue drinking. I want a slightly sweet drink. Can you do it? Please get out of here. <laughs> Still has no patience for customers, and I do feel this. I don't blame her. Want something slightly sweet? All right, we could give him. Uh, we can give him this one. We haven't used this yet. The mini vintage glass. Next. No ice. Next. Ultimate syrup times two. And then ice soul glad times one. Next. Intelleron ornament. Complete the mix. Try this one out, dude. Delicious drink. A flavor I like. You really ought to make me happy. Burp. I feel a little bit dizzy. It's so nice to talk to you. I'll come hang out with you some other day. Be sure to welcome me with open arms. I am the soda dog that brings happiness to everyone. Goodbye. I mean, if, if you say so, my guy. This talk's really infuriating. Great info by Mr. Bigwig. This dog is pretending to be kind and passionate, but it's actually trying to make you angry. Don't get tricked by its appearance. Yeah, he is kind of being an ass. But we got him. We forgot to take care of him. But to blow a fuse already after serving just two customers. It's the same. They're going to write. It's by far the most infuriating thing. I don't want to feel that way in the beginning. Please don't take it to heart. They're just too affected by the nightmare that they can be a bit twisted. When things were all good in the past, they were a bunch of lovely and sensible kids. I really appreciate your hard work. Uh, I'm, I only lend an ear to them. And you respond to their issues well. I'm already grateful because you can accept these monsters and treat them as equals. Hmm. It's time to give you the advanced lesson. A creative mind is key to mixing drinks. You need to come up with a special blend based on the time and your customer's preferences. After I show you the ropes about free mixing, you'll be able to craft drinks that aren't on the menu. This is something every drinksmith has to learn. Things will get boring if you keep dishing out the same recipes. I guess so. For instance, I want a large, extra sweet drink that brings back happy memories of my past. The thing on the menu fits this requirement. What should we do now? Alright, let me think about it. Don't panic. Let me show you what to do. Most of the time, customers will have customized requests for drinks. The customer has requested a specific glass size. Pick one of the large glasses this time. Now you can fulfill their request. All right. The step where the customer doesn't make a request will be your time to shine. Um, let's do less. No, let's try more ice. Well, yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do more ice. Uh, the other request is extra sweet, so let's review the rules of mixing drinks. If it's super sweet, the sweetness measurement must be at least two. Um, partition of pepper can increase a drink's sweetness. Let's add one portion of this to see the results. Let me add a portion of solo glad, which also adds it. To your met, now you can leave the rest up to you how you want to fill the glass. Alright. Well, we did this, so how about we do... Let's see. Mm. How about... Hmm. Let's make it a really thick fucking thing, too. Let's stir it. See what that looks like. Alright. And then the last thing we want to add... Probably be... 
Let's add the other syrup on top of that. And this time we'll add... Hmm. I like the little fluff ball thing. That sounds fun. Triple is very sweet and very strong. All right. I guess that works. Excellent. Your grass of flavors is on point and you can accurately perceive what's on someone's mind. I might ask you to make a drink for me one day. I'll be gone for a while, but the monsters will drop by from time to time. Please tend to lounge for me. Without the drinks here, I'm worried these monsters might get angsty. Now you must be drained after long shift. Take a break. Though these weirdos day in, day out is indeed quite tiring. Making drinks with is certainly no easy feat. Alright. New customers are about to arrive. Let's let's do this. I'm I'm having a great time with this actually. Savon's not around, let's open for business. Alright. Onwards. Uh, let's see. Recipe deduction. All right, we got a lot of recipes to unlock. Revenue statistics. All right, yeah, we can do this. This is easy. Tin Man, over there! Told you to make me a super thick drink in a small glass, you hear me? Huh, what'd you say? Remember, I don't care who you think you are. As long as you're behind it, dilapidated lounge, and you have those dirty glasses next to you, then you better listen to me and do what I want. I'm the only- I'm the one paying you, got it? The guy's a Karen. Ugh. If you catch my drift, then hurry up and start mixing your drinks. Stop pretending like you're doing something. I don't need any reminders of that idiot. Or customers like this really get my blood boiling. Start preparing the drink. Uh, you already learned free mixing. Of course, both methods can fulfill certain requirements. But this time, try using free, free mixing method to fulfill the client's needs. Small and very thick. Alright, well, let's give him a mini vintage glass. It'll suit his chunky fucking hands. We'll give him less ice this time. It's a very, very thick. Let's try... That and that. Then we'll put, um... Hmm. Let's try... Yeah, I bet this, like... I bet the blue or the green would look really nice on this, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks very pretty. So let's add... I think a mint leaf would go well with that. That looks nice. I would drink this. Ha ha! That's what I want. Anyone smart enough to listen to basic orders will make a little bit of scratch at the very least. You covering for Sivan? Can a fool like you come up with any interesting drinks? What a joke. I'm not kidding when I say I've been a patron of this lounge since it started. Back then, there weren't even proper tables. The counter was just thrown together and it would fall apart if you put any weight on it. This place didn't even have the full range of ingredients. This guy is such a fucking boomer. Jesus Christ. Even considering how awful the drinks were back then, the drink you made just now was just the worst. What killed me even more was... Even after I told you I was a regular of this lounge, you still don't show me respect. Is that how you server should act, huh? Dude, chill the fuck out. Dial it back a bit. Listen here. You're new, so you better act like it. Be sure to bow, do your job right, and serve customers. Be the humblest you can be. I'm here to buy happiness, so you should be making me feel special, got it? It's pointless to tell you. Just give me a small glass. I want it sweet and with clearly colored layers. I've got a great eye that's allergic to things that lack aesthetics. Strange aesthetics regarding layers. Um, alright. Start preparing the drink. We'll do some more free mixing. We'll do a small wine glass this time. Once it's kind of sweet, we'll do no ice for it. So, two color layers at least. I think what we can do here is we'll go a bit of Soothing Soul Glad, then the Ice Soul Glad, 
and the practitioner pepper all at once two color layers oh right we can't do that because it has to be it has to be two so let's try no i no we'll have to do this Ooh, actually that looks kind of good let's put um hmm let's put hanu on that Tisk. You got decent taste. I made my demands clear, and I can make some palatable stuff for you. That's all. Run down place with an awful drinksmith and dumb monsters. Ha! Are you all hiding here playing house? What? What's the matter? Got something to say? Here's your chance. Spit it out. Pour the drink on it. Poke it with a stir stick. Oh man, how, how do we respond? I, I think I want to pour the drink on it. I feel like that'd be funny. Jeez, is that how you treat a customer? You stay right there. I'm going to whack you into scrap metal. Take out the baseball bat. Just you wait. we got a lot of days ahead of us. Don't assume that Savan can protect you. Just you wait. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bitch. <laughs> Fight me. Uh, quite the rude and arrogant monster. It is quite big, though. Quite information about 10 man. An irritable and rude customer who does whatever it wants, as if the entire world of run it, we must not spoil it. <laughs> Fair. And he still gave me a decent tip, despite the fact that I dumped shit on his head. <laughs> What's up, Spade? Shake, shake. The dice roll as fate plays its tune. Dang, it's you again. <laughs> How much money do you owe? Did you sign a contract or a letter of guarantee that you're going to work this lounge until it's back to its former glory? Listen here, just forget all about it. Why don't I enjoy this time? Let's play dice. Come on, test your luck. Let's get started. Are you going to be big or small? Big or small? A dealer calls the shots and all bets are in. Lose and you've got to pay. Win and you don't. Go big. You sure you want to choose big? Big, big, big. Oh, now that I think of it, I bet it's going to be big. Because all the small numbers have been scratched off by me. They were not grateful to sit on. Always making me want to rush to the bathroom. So, you're going big? Not going to change? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Go big or go home? Yeah! I'm at the edge of my seat. Is it small or is it small? Crack. The dealer starts to tap dance for you. The dice rolls faster and faster. Keeping in time with the performance. Just as your body catches the rhythm and starts to sway, the dance ends abruptly. You can see plain as day that each side of the dice has a single dot. It was small, just as expected. Ah, it's my fault. I put too much force when digging in this dice. Looks like I made a pit instead. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that you lost. That's okay. I'm bored now. And I'm feeling super worn out. Give me a drink, quick. I want that. Drink that's in a small glass has a strong taste. A taste that rejuvenates my spirit instantly. Players, remember to replenish your exolytes after exercise. I don't think I can fill this quest in the drink menu. Uh, I tend to do a flare with the glasses. Crash, the glass shatters into pieces on the ground. Looks like your skills could use some work. <laughs> Let's prepare the drink. All right. Let's see what we got here. A small drink. We'll do a small wine glass this time. We'll do, we'll do less, oh no, let's do more ice actually. And he wants it strong. Let's try, hmm. A bit of that, that sounds pretty good. And you know what, let's do a, a bit of that. And then some ultimate syrup on top. That's got some nice colors to it. Strong one? But it, it does reach that though. Why does it not? Wait, why is it not like... A taste intense. Yeah, well it's, it's six intensity. It's really intense. We give the hamster ball card. Why does it not meet their requirements? All right, let's do mini ventures glass. 
Yeah, okay, well, let's do this one then. No ice this time. Small glass that tastes intense. It it meets the requirements. Why is it? Why is it not giving me this? I don't I don't understand. I'm confused. Why is it doing this? Is it just intense? Just by itself? Let's see. Well, this has two. So we need to get that thickness down by one at the very least. Hmm. Oh, it needs to be exactly one. That's why. Okay. There we go. That That's why. It can't be super intense. It has to be just a little intense. Uh, let's do that and then the blue on top. Look at that. Exactly one. And this time we'll add, it's got a little bit of intense. We'll add Hanu to this one. Bro, ha! I'm feeling so good that I'm flying. I want to feel this happy every day. Speaking of which, I just thought of something very sad again. Sob. I was once a good kid, you know? The guy who literally couldn't have gone small if he said he was going to go big. That was true up until, until I was assigned to work at the hotel. The environment here is just the worst. The air is so stuffy and they won't even let me go to the bathroom when I want. They're suffocating me. Oh, I mean emotionally suffocating. Those people in black suits are always watching. They never give me time to rest. Before long, I found myself forgetting if I should be tossed big or small. To be honest, is the number really that important? Does it matter or not? Clearly the guests are the ones playing and yet you want me to cheat? Give me another drink. This time I want a large glass. Bitter and super strong. Small or large, I'll drink them all. They're all the same, no problem. A large, huh? What sort of glass should I choose? Alright. Well, let's see what we got. Something really large. Let's try... We gave him the, the vintage glass last time. Let's give him a... Uh, let's give him a wine glass this time. More ice. Right, he wants it very bitter, so we'll start with this, and then very strong. Let's stir that up a little bit. Got a nice pur purple there. Let's see, we can add this and this to the top of it. Next. And we'll add... How about the origami bird this time? Slightly bitter, very strong, very thick. Ah, uh, the deeper the goblet, the truer the friendship. I love that you can understand me. Pick up. I'm off. Remember, I remember you, newbie drinksmith. <laughs> I feel so good, I don't want to sing. If we sit together, we won't need to worry about the bad guys. We'll just pack up and leave if the family is too powerful. There's no need to beg or worry. Better to be hungry than angry. I guess? I tried a bunch of Spade's thoughts. I guess he must trust me more now. Record info about Spade. Turns out Spade was once forced to work by the family. Did being disciplined harshly cause it to become the miscreant that it is now? I don't know. Fucking nerd! No, you. I'm making- I'm a drinksmith right now, Insane. I'm- I'm doing drinking stuff. All right, continue service. Oh god, the dog. But that is not you actually drinking, so, I mean, do I need to start actually drinking? I have stuff to make drinks. Because I'm looking at it right now. I got things. I could do that. The soda doggo that brings happiness to return to visit you. Were you looking forward to seeing me? Are you happy? I was looking forward to this. I'm so happy. Thank you, but no matter how much you look forward to it, it's pointless. I don't care what you think in the slightest. I go wherever I please and say whatever I want. There's nothing anyone can do about me. I used to be like you. Todd took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Busily serving drinks to customers. If anyone said anything to me, I'd just respond with Roger, Wolf. But one day, I had this epiphany. 
A dog's life is also a life. Rather than let people shave off time for my life, I'll shave it off theirs. If you don't do anything, no one will notice you. All that matters is that you're happy. That kind of makes sense? Woof, you finally get it. But getting it is only the beginning. What's most important is that you take action. I see you're pretty tired. When I start practicing with me. Maybe a large and strong drink and I'll teach you how to interact with people. With a mouth like that, how is this gonna how is it not gonna get a beat down? Wipe the glass clean first. The glass in your hands has a gorgeous glove makes you feel an incredible sense of comfort. Start preparing the drink. Alright, you want something large and strong. Alright, we'll I'll try we did the wine glass last time, let's do the vintage glass this time. Mm, let's do less ice this time. He wants it to be thick. Let's put some dream jam in there. And then I guess we can do put that in there. Oh, uh, that lowered the thickness quite a bit, actually. So let's put some more of that in there. Let's stir it all up. Not as pretty of a drink this time, but it's fine. I like giving them really intense drinks. It's kind of funny. Shit, really crit is beautiful, just like yours truly. I mean, I, I'm glad you like it. Cool. Flavor's amazing. From now on, you're the best drink smith in my heart. After drinking this, it's time to teach you how to talk. <laughs> Listen up. Hey, idiot dog! <laughs> you really want to teach someone with that pathetic brain of yours? Newbie, don't let this dog's appearance dupe you. That dog looks cute, but in reality, everything it has to say is unpleasant. When that dog was a courier, it got the highest number of negative reviews, making fun of customers, stealing soda, and pocketing tips. It's never done what it's supposed to, beyond wagging its tail of, uh, a tail of it so happily. I figured that out. Good. I may be crazy, but I've never hurt anybody. I know that dog for a long time. I've never heard anything good about it. Let me tell you, it's a selfish, bad-mouthed dog. It's best if you keep your distance. Don't give yourself unnecessary headaches. Woof. Mr. Dealer is often pulling things out of thin air and causing trouble wherever he goes. He's kind of off, you know? No one at the lounge likes him. Hey! What are you talking about? I heard everything you just said. You're gonna talk smack about me behind my back? I'll have to give you a hard time. I'm having a private conversation with our dear drinksmith here. Mind your business. Everything Mr. Dealer said is a lie, so don't mind him. He's not like me. I'll always wag my tail in a friendly way to you. That's the only thing I can do. I believe you. Thank you. You trust me with just a few wags on my tail. You're so easy to fool. Woof, delish. Hit me with another. I want something sweet and refreshing, something along those lines. I guess it's these two don't have a good relationship. Activate the Drink Smith Simulator. Alright, let's just do a thing here. Sweet and refreshing. We have something like that. This should meet it. Uh, super size vintage glass. Less ice. Dream Jam 3. Ice Soul Glad 2. Next. Select the clocky ornamentation. To each their own drink. Okay, I guess I got an achievement for this. Now to mute you to keep you hidden. So no, I mean, I'm not doing any story stuff insane. I've, I'm done with all the story stuff. We finished it. We're just doing event stuff now. This tastes amazing. When Savant's not around, you are the greatest drink smith here. You really turned my mood around. But I wonder if I drank too much. I'm seeing lots of black spots. Still spoilers? Why is it spoilers? I'm just serving drinks to a doggo. This is not spoilers. Over here, hey, over here. Good little doggy, let's play. Come with me, I'll take you to a fun place. You wanna play with me? Wait for me! Spade took Mr. Bigwig out to play. I wonder if those two will cause trouble. But I feel like I understand Mr. Bigwig more now I'm listening to it. Record information about Bigwig. Let's see. Mr. Bigwig used to be a so glad delivery unit. It would definitely have gotten loads of negative views with the way it talks. However, it seems to have turned out this way because it wanted to get some attention.
All right. Yeah, why is there a commotion? Oh no, what'd you guys do? Oh, that's Radio Wolf. You broke it. I want you to pay for it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to break it. I just held it too tightly and crushed it by accident. Ha ha ha. Are you going to cry? More, please. What happened? I let my radio to the dealer out of kindness, but he smashed it on the ground. There was no smashing of any kind. To be more precise, I only pinched it, and it shattered after I applied a little pressure. How fragile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear him? I wouldn't have happened if the radio was harder than the floor, would it? Whimper. You're clearly messing with me. I'll tear you to pieces. I'm the Jigsmith here, and I call the shots. Sob. I'm being framed, newcomer. You gotta help me out. I didn't do anything. It was all his fault. Now that I admit to any wrongdoing, I should probably ask them separately. Alright, well, let's see what's going on with you. It's not my fault. All I did was lend him the radio out of kindness of my heart. The next thing I knew, he smashed it, Wolf. You're the new Drinksmith. You gotta help me. Uh, was the radio important to you? Wolf, it's my precious treasure. Of course it's important. And, and... That radio represented an important memory for me. Savon gave it to me. Savon hasn't been around recently. There's no one for me to play with. I'm so lonely. That's the only reason I wanted to play with the dealer. I made him angry on purpose because I wanted him to notice me. If I didn't do that, no one would pay attention to me. Sob. At the very least, if I behave badly, more selfish, I can be happy. At least you talk to me more. Maybe he's become so unbearable because no one is spending time with him. I should go into his internal world and see what's going on. Alright, well, let's soothe his feelings. Alright, enter the Emoscape. Okay, lore. Oh, no. Yeah, Toro. There's been quite a lot of lore, actually. Um, we've, we've been successful in predicting quite a lot of things. Because Pentaconi is very much rooted in a lot of stuff from Impact 3rd. Like, quite a lot of things. We've, we've done very good about predicting a lot of stuff. I was very pleased. Now we're done with the main stories. So we're just going to like all the extra stuff now. Uh, let's see. Rotate. And rotate. Let's go! But yeah, I'm, I'm always full of lore. My brain is full of it. Why would you have room for things that are actually important when you can have Honkai lore in your head instead? Easy. Alright, let's see. Activate. No, that's not correct. Let's activate. Activate that one. That one. That one. And we'll rotate that. No problem. Yeah, it has been a while. How does how does it go? I felt so much better. Who knew having some company would be such a wonderful thing? You guys are gonna have to play again, okay? I wanna go play! I wanna go play! Will you intentionally make someone angry again? Wolf. I'll be the sort of dog that brings you happiness. Who's smart and nice, I'll be friendly and won't cause any trouble. Play with me again sometime, Tricksmith. Yeah, no worries, dude. I mean, playing with doggos is fine. Oh, well, let's go into the dream world of the other one. Let's go see what, what's going on with this dude. If it's only solving a couple of puzzles, it shouldn't be all that hard. Alright, Spade, what you got? He says he's innocent. Alright, apologize. I can talk all kinds of stuff. Are you serious? You want me, an innocent and passionate kid, to bow my head and apologize to that idiot pooch? I feel so wrong. Of course I know what I've done. I can tell the difference between right and wrong. To be honest with you, I did it on purpose. Bring it on! Show me what's what. I've been like this since the day I was born. Nobody can deal with me. Maybe I can seize this chance to slip into his internal world and help him change his bad habit of pranking others. Yeah, pranks can be okay as long as they don't harm people, right? If they're not harmful and people are in on it, then it's fine. But, like, you shouldn't take it overboard. Alright, let's deal with your bullshit. Spades emo escape. Alright. Well, let's wander this direction then, I guess. Uh, 
Can't help but want to mess with somebody. I mean, I do kind of feel that, though. I got you. Fell for it. Let's see. I do remember how to get over there. Um, where is the dream thing at? There it is. Yeah, give me this. Let's see. We'll go here. And let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll just see this one. Next! Oh, hello. That's fun. All right. We gotta get here. Well, first, let's fix this. I don't have to do that again. You caught me. I, I'm sorry because I, I am not there. Ha ha ha! Sure. Okay, buddy. Okay, he's up there. How do we get up there? Hmm. How do we get there? So it's probably turning this somehow. So how do we get there? Through that red door, most likely? Or through that area, which means we gotta go on this wall. So, let's grab this. And we'll run over here. Pretty sure it's this direction. Alright, my guy. Let's talk. Let me go! I know I was wrong. I'm truly sorry, and I'll apologize to every dog around the world who has ever been bullied. From this moment on, I'll be the protector of all dogs. I'll make sure no dog ever cries and will do so until the day I die. I... I... Is this how you apologize? I... Sob. Actually, I didn't really do it on purpose. That wasn't it at all. It's just that, well, when Savon hasn't been around recently, I thought maybe, if I made a scene, she might come back. Savon would come rushing back if the monsters were in trouble. I'm sure of it. So that's why I smashed that idiot Pooch's thing. You know you should have done that, right? I know, I know. From here on out, I'll be sure not to bother or make fun of that idiot Pooch. Idiot Pooch. Slap. See how hard that slap was? It hurt so much I'll never forget. What if... Sniffle. You let me out this time? Uh, there won't be any second chances. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been miraculously revived. I'm a good boy. I'm putting all my uninhibited nature behind me. It's all happy days from here. Everyone likes dice. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If you say so, dude. I'm kind of curious about the monkey. I, I want to know what monkey's all about. I want to his deal. New drinks. Hey, we got a lot of new stuff. And new ingredients. Rad. All right, you guys sort your bullshit out. Hey, itty pooch, itty pooch, itty, 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 itty pooch. Ha ha, I've got to correct them out. No one can handle this. You still haven't paid me back for the radio, you broke. Even if this lounge is big, you won't escape. Uh, well, how about this? I'll take you to the hotel room. There's all sorts of stuff in there that guests don't want. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Got a radio that works. You'll find out if you can take a look. I'm off, better keep up, or you'll be eating my dust. Wait for me. Looks like they've patched things up? Question mark? Yeah, I'm a little confused too. Hey, I'm back. How'd it go? You like being a drink smith while I was away? All mine can go up with her sad moments. Had a good time. That's your hard work, but your face says it all. Tell me straight, what happened? Sharing is so important, it can double our blessings and cut our burdens in half. The work of a drink smith is all about listening and chatting. Tell her about what happened. So that's what's happened. As the collapse of the dreamscape accelerates, the monster's emotions become increasingly unstable. Similar conflicts will only keep growing in number. Who knows? Maybe we'll have a bigger headache to deal with later. Probably. Actually. But you did great. You're a bona fide drinksmith. Allow me to thank you on their behalf. Is this part of the drinksmith's gig, huh? As a drinksmith at Dreamjolt Holstery, handling, handling the monster's interpersonal relationships is all part of the job. 
Didn't I tell you that right when you started? Being a drinksmith here isn't a walk in the park. Will you do something for me? Please make me a drink. You've been a drinksmith for so long that you probably figured it out. That if a customer's sitting across from you, that means they absolutely trust you. You can't come at this job with a 9 to 5 mentality. I can't wait to see what kind of drink you make me. Alright, girl. No big deal. I like you anyway. You're fun. This place is called Dream Jolt Holstery. Because all the guests here are members of the Dream Jolt Troop. You've seen the Sweet Dreams Troop, right? Those billboards that run around the streets, the musical instruments that play automatically, and those surprisingly large eyes. The Dreamscape, objects with stuff ordinance like that are everywhere. And all, all for those monsters used to be part of Sweet Dreams Troop. Hardworking, well-trained, and obedient to the family, providing amusement and services to the guests. Yeah, they were all good children. Until the nightmare struck and turned them into monsters. The form that you see now, insane and babbling. Uh, I don't think they're strange. You're quite a smooth talker. Is this how you tricked those children? Oh, don't get me wrong, it's a compliment. Before becoming a drinksmith, I used to be the administrator of the Sweet Dreams Troop. My title might have been their administrator, but I treated them like my own family. That's why it hurts me to see them like this uh, in this state. So I decided to stay here, hoping that I could help them get a bit normal again. That they can regain recognition from the people and have happy lives. But the process was too long. Even with the monster's emotional issues temporarily placated, the nightmares will still return time and time again with no end in sight. I'm starting to feel tired. Uh, so that's why you asked me for help. Well, we gotta get a bit sleepy. That's all for now. I'll tell you more later when the chance arises. I have enough atmosphere to generate inspiration now. Please make me a drink that brings feelings of nostalgia and an extra large glass and is slightly sweet. The taste should be particularly strong. That very specific. Also, I just want to pull this up so we can do a, a quick little comparison here. Oh, no, we don't need to do that. Uh... <laughs> So I said before that, like, Savon looks like one of my OCs. She really fucking does, though. Like, like look at this. This is Veda. Why Why are they, like, the, their hair parts on different sides? But, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like spinning images of each other. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Mihoyo, you guys, like, watching my art streams? You guys, like, paying attention to my stuff? Like, what's going on? What's happening here? What's What's going on? <laughs> That's a wild coincidence. I love that. If anything, I might alter Veda's design purely based off of that. It could be helpful. They didn't have, like when I was working on the Veda, I was looking at stuff of like how Mihoyo like set up their character designs, and they didn't really have like any character with the hairstyle that I wanted. But now they do, and I'm like, cool. I can see how they would interpret that, and we can maybe make some slight alterations to it. I've been tweaking OC stuff like that for the same reasons for years anyway. It's not bad. So let's guess we will have requests based on the flavor base. Uh, to create the flavor base, first prepare the required normal flavor and give it some stirring. All right, so we'll go for this. Super size wine glass. Choose however many ice cubes you want. Oh, I guess more ice. Let's start by creating the flavor base. Slightly bitter and mellow. All right. All oh, right, we have new stuff in here, too. All right. Flavor base is done. Now we add puffer goat milk. Uh, the flavor base created from stirring won't be influenced by subsequent adding of ingredients. Oh, so that's what stirring does. Okay. I'll leave the rest to you. We'll add the, the jam here. That's kind of fun. And we'll add... Ooh, what, what kind of garnish do we want on this? I feel like mint. Mint looks pretty good on that. All right, what do you got to say about it, Savon? Tastes great. Besides Gallagher, you're the fastest learner I've ever met when it comes to mixing drinks. Are you really not planning on working at this lounge for a long time? Drinks, whether they taste great or terrible, reflect your most genuine thoughts at this moment. How you understand the guests before you, how you intend to respond to their trust. This might seem simple, but it's so much more than that. Oh, there's something else I need to tell you. Even though the family treats the Sweet Dreams troop as mere props for the guest entertainment, there are quite a few people who take a genuine interest in them. Some have even told me about it and become regulars at the lounge. If you're interested, you can also invite your trusted friends here. 
Um, but isn't the hotel and dreams are sealed off by the family? Just tell them you're my guest and the family's guards won't stop you. They're merely obedient bloodhounds following orders. Don't take them too seriously. That's all for now. You must be tired too. Get some rest. The road ahead is long and it'll be tougher than you expect. For solving the issues between Spade and Mr. Bigwig, the two of them will probably get along peacefully at the lounge now, right? Savan was supposed to be administrator of the Sweet Dreams troop. How unexpected. No wonder she has such a soft spot for the monsters. New customers are about to arrive. Alright, let's see what they're all about. Some customers who are, or who are into monsters come in and the lounge livens up. Savan hasn't shown up yet. We'll start with serving customers anyway. Yeah, sure. Why not? Time to make some stuff. But first, let's go ahead and grab some rewards. Oh, we've done the, the first two. So that's like phase one, I guess. Nice, nice, nice. Recipe stuff. Waiting to be deduced. Oh, I haven't deduced any of this? Here's a final look at the drink. Select here to see a larger image. Well, it's going to be this, first of all. It's that, that, and that. That looks right to me. And then Origami Bird. Cool. We got that one. Oh, so they actually want you to like mix it first before you do anything. All right. I'm not sure what the, the bottom was gonna be. It's definitely something stirred though. So let's try I'd be like this and this stir it. Does that look about right? I guess kinda. And this and this. Is that it? I guess we got it. That wasn't too hard. All right, let's try this one. Hmm. It seems to have something along the bottom. So let's try. Let's see. What does this look like? Hmm. Let's put it in the blue. No, we don't need the blue. I guess we'll do. You know what? Actually, I feel like. It's probably this, this, and this, and then we stir it. That looks about right. And then we add this. And then a lemon. No problem. Glorious hour. This looks like a really fruity drink, and I, I think I would probably like it. Oh, it's a yellow though. Let's add let's add this into it. How does that look? That looks right to me. No problem. And this just makes me want to drink now. Like this this just looks nice. I think maybe like this. Stir that a bit. No, that doesn't seem right. Weird. That can't be it. That must be it there. Let's be real. All right. Well, we got that one. 
Alright, last one. Alright, let's see. Looks like it's... Ooh. Um... How does that look whenever it's mixed? Mm, not quite what they're looking for, probably. That's... Drake doesn't seem to fit the image. No? Okay, let's try this. And then... This? How does that look? Mm, that's not quite right. I guess it was mixed differently. Yeah, I guess that was right. Alright, cool. We got it. Uh, that'd be this one. Nice. Very, very neat. Let's get all of that. And... Yeah, I guess we're about halfway through the deductions now. Ah, uh, this is melancholy. You know, you exude an air of detachment, evoking a profound solitude as if you weren't really here. I don't know how to establish a connection with you. Your exceptional uniqueness makes you feel inferior. Sigh. Perhaps this place was never intended for me. Yet, for fleeting moments, I did experience a glimmer of warmth. My aloofness remains unaltered, even in the face of defeat. And your hubris is irreparable, beyond any hope of salvation. Damn. Sigh. What's the point of talking about all this useless stuff all day? How about something tangible, like a glass of drifting wind? Don't forget to add that pretty decoration on it, thank you. Search for the drink again. Let's activate the simulator. Do you want a drifting wind? We have that. A large wine glass. Let's fucking go, dude. More ice. Odd concoction. Soothing soda. And then ice soul glad. And we get a little mint leaf. There you go, buddy. Yeah, how capricious happiness can be. Fleeting as the bubbles or bubbles, that's a different word. Fleeting as the bubbles dancing upon my glass, it vanishes in the blink of an eye. Are you new here? Are you going to bully me? Where's Savan? Have you ousted her? Behold, within this spacious lounge, a seasoned drinksmith finds no place to dwell. Much like this grand hotel within the dreamscape, where I struggle to find my niche. Oh, where shall my tender, melancholic soul find its abode? Uh, I'm just here to lend a hand. I see. You're abandoned too, right? So pathetic, just like me. Sigh. Sure, Savan is great at mixing drinks, but given the location, it's only natural that the lounge remains deserted and unattended. What's the point of being a drinksmith here? There are no customers, no revenue, much like those unwanted concert tickets. And when the curtains are raised, you step onto the stage only to be faced with a mere handful of people in the audience. It's truly disheartening. It's what it's like being a content creator sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps this lounge will go out of business soon. Don't say that. This won't bring any good luck. Is this trying to bully me? That's how it feels. I'm unable to see its future, and I struggle to accept its present. Eh, I might as well have a few more while I'm here. Please give me a glass of something that exudes brokenness and is very refreshing. And add the decoration of Ms. Robin to it. Thank you. What the fuck? Interesting. It's the first time I've met a customer who cares so much about decorations. To do a flare with the glasses. Crash. Sound of glass shatters, uh, shatters the piece on the ground, so looks like you're still to use some work. We'll get it right one day. Alright. Slightly bitter and strong for the base. Um, we, let's just get like a supersized glass. This would be fine. More ice into it. Uh, let's do less ice. So they want a slightly bitter... And then a slightly strong. And we'll stir that. Alright, that's the base. So now, with that on it, let's try... Try some ice so glad on the top of this. 
You know, a little bit of pink on the top. It has a little, like, watermelon kind of look to it. And then we'll add Robin to it. Complete the mix. Here you go, buddy. Ha! Huh. Happiness is an elusive treasure. One that needs cherishing. But I drank it all on a single gulp. Sigh. Following the bliss, boundless emptiness once more consumes me. It's time to leave the stage. Surely someone with a life as fulfilling as yours won't even remember me. Maybe we meet again where there is light. Melancholy is melancholic just like its name. Such a pessimistic personality. I don't know, they seem pretty easy to talk to you though. They're chill. Depressed, pessimistic, lacking confidence. It is cynical towards everything. Melancholy's personality really fits its name. All right, well, continue service. Sup, hello there. My friend told me there's a new drinksmith here. That must be you, right? Hee <laughs> hee, just as I thought. You seem like a fascinating person to chat with. In that case, let me ask you a secret question. Did a melancholy customer just leave? He is indeed melancholic. I'm not talking about his looks. Don't you find his demeanor special? I mean, the kind of detachment and iffy vibe. The kind of solitude you expect from a genius. It's just fascinating. Ahem. Talking about this topic makes me feel all flushed. Please, make me a drink. Hmm. I'll just order this chewing gum. A little more ice so I can cool down my internal cathode ray tubes. Alright, I should add some more ice cubes to it. Alright. Then, Paper Moon it is. Wait, is this- Oh no, they want a chewing gum, sorry. Not Paper Moon. Alright, Super Size Wine Glass. More ice. Alright, let's see. Red Sunset Sauce times two. Odd Concoction times one. Practitioner Pepper. Stir all of that to a nice tomatoey color. And then puffer goat milk. Next. And then the hamster ball night card. Oh, that's, that's alright. Slightly sweet, very mellow, very thick. Hmm. I'm not sure how I'd feel about a thick drink. I feel like that would be odd. Tantalizing taste indeed. You must be a seasoned drinksmith who can easily grasp your customer's preferences. By the way, you've only been here a short while. I wonder if you've noticed that things aren't very peaceful outside the lounge. It worries me too. I've always felt something creepy lurking deep within the hotel in Dreamscape. But if I want a quiet place, there's not much of an alternative. It's so frustrating. I can't find a good spot for a date. Um, why not have your date right here in the lounge? No way! There are too many acquaintances here, and customers could walk in any minute. It's too embarrassing. After some thoughts, the depths of this hotel seem like the best option. As long as I don't go too far, right? Are you dating Savon? Ha, <laughs> hey, trying to appear into Savon's love life, huh? Uh, a little bit. That's your hair. Um, what? Who's hair? Who you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the drink? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Savon's so attractive and kind and everyone wants to date her. I was interested too and asked her out a few times but got rejected. So I had to find someone else. Well, it seems you enjoy discussing embarrassing topics. Makes me a bit flustered, to be honest. Give me another drink to cool me down some more. This time I want something dreamy and super thick. And like before, I want more ice or my circuits are going to fry. Would it be more effective if I just placed the ice cubes on her head? Remove the glass from the ice cube pool. You love the touch of the chilled glass. It can prevent you from being overly irate when dealing with certain customers. Yeah, I guess so. Let's do some free mixing. Uh, let's see. Let's try, again, another supersized wine glass. I think that's probably going to be good. More ice. So, the base needs to be... Uh, let's see. Slightly sweet. And a little of that. We'll stir that one up. And then they want it very, very thick. So, let's go for... Hmm. Something that won't reduce the overall thing of this. Let's try... Let's try that. That's a very interesting vibe to it. That's kind of a strange color combination, but it's alright. It meets the requirements. Let's try... We haven't used the Papeshi thing in a while. 
You're a perfect drinksmith, so skilled and caring. It was a great experience. It was nice talking to you. In my opinion, you're almost as great a drinksmith as Savan. Impressive indeed. I'll drop by next time. Please look forward to my arrival. Yeah, she seemed chill. She's probably just easily embarrassed. Lady is probably the most normal among all the monsters that you've come in contact with so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> Seems chill, though. The most normal customer in the lounge. Likes to talk about relationships and blushes and gets super embarrassed all the time. It's really hard to understand what it's thinking. Alright. Well, that was easy. Hey. Hey, come closer. Let's keep this just between us. Did a customer in red just come... Uh... Red come just now? She asked a similar question just now. Huh? Oh, I, I see. I followed her right to the door of this lounge and watched her come out, so don't try to fool me. What did she talk to you about? Did she mention my name? She mentioned Savan. That's typical. All the monsters here are fond of Savan. Except for me, of course. Yo, what's up, guys? Hi, hey, bitch! What's up, guys? What's up, Ow! Guys? God! You Keep yourself safe. God, you're fucking Mike Mackey! <laughs> Holy what shit! What do you mean, my microphone? What do you mean? You know goddamn well what I mean. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Your mic is horrible. Also, Monty, this event's perfect for you. Dead? Hello? <laughs> Not good. Alright, you know what's gonna happen right now? <laughs> Time to mute, Mickey. <laughs> Serve me, <mute>, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> damn, damn, Skies. Didn't know you were a chill like that. Skies is having the fucking turn here, like, understandable. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mari, this event would be perfect for you. We're oh, making no, drinks. I, I know, I know. I, I tried did the quest just so I can get the fucking exclamation mark out. Go oh yeah. On stream later, <laughs> yeah. Fun. You you don't have to tell me. I I know. Well, I didn't know how far you got in the fucking story yet. I had no idea where you were. <laughs> I finished my shit on the day one. I streamed ten hours. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> I I could not have done that because like I had to work. So I like the first stream we oh, did. Yeah. I don't remember. I think it was like four or five hours, and then like we went. Like I had to end yeah, it about halfway I through. I split. I had to split like. Fucking 2.0 suffering streams wait, wait. into like a couple hours. <laughs> so after work, you were too exhausted to do the full Honkai story. So I guess guys is the limit. I will fucking end you. It's obsidian. God damn it. No, it's guys. No, it's not. Yeah. It's obsidian skies. It says yeah, right but, there. Yeah, but no one calls me that except you motherfuckers. We do. What the fuck you mean? No you one. brought it upon, upon yourself. I'm gonna be honest. It wasn't even about like. Okay, I still am like, why? Because it wasn't directed at any of you, motherfuckers. You're so well, rambling shouldn't... about the origin of the skies meme. Checked out of the fucking bingo board. Smile. <laughs> I fucking figured. And nothing to do with you guys. And yet here we you are every have time. Asked, like, hey, who the fuck calls me skies? Well. It wasn't even an ask. It was just like a random comment about some random thing. And nothing to do with anybody. <laughs> yeah, good old guys. Yeah, classic guys here. moment. I hate it here. <laughs> good. Well, I was serving drinks to this asshole robot. But I don't know what he wants. He's just, I guess he wants a date. Dude's a dick, though. Uh, what's he said? Hey Large guys, glass. What's going on? Refunk doesn't even have access to this fucking channel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he doesn't. <laughs> he does oh, not. What do you mean, Refunk's here? Yeah, it's Refunk is definitely here, guys, for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, is he even in my server? I don't even think he's in the server. I don't even know. <laughs> Hold on, I can check now. At Refunk, is he? No, okay, he is in here. Never mind. <laughs> he's in the server. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of people in here, and I forget how many people are actually in the server. Mm. But it's it's fine. Mike, did you fix your fucking mic yet? I don't know. It just does no. that. Blame my laptop. Oh my <laughs> god. And, and you know what? Fucking struggle. Yes, yeah, oh god. You're I, just you know, here to make it miserable. I I mean, I assumed. L the, the, three, check, the three stooges won't join my chat unless they're here to fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> so. With the chicken strips. 
<laughs> Please be careful with that, though. We are on YouTube as well. <laughs> so I'd prefer yeah. not to get YouTube having issues with me. I will, I will not DMCA you yet. Yet, he says. <laughs> Scroll. Yeah, that's where to put away the fucking smooth operator joint sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you should be like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> fuck him up, fuck him up. I'll just have to kick you immediately. <laughs> it's like, no, we can't do this. My, my YouTube channel is barely surviving as it is. We don't need to make it worse. Wait, yeah, barely absolutely. surviving? Are you on two strikes already? What the fuck? No, I mean, like, there's just, there's like, no one watches my fucking channel oh, right now. Oh, okay, okay. It's dead. Like, my Twitch channel is. And that's my own fault, yeah. to be fair, but... Men doesn't count as his viewers and shit. You're a guest on the stream now. <laughs> so... Okay, time to leave, bye. <laughs> SMH. Let's see. Let's prepare the drink, see what this guy wants. It says, a large glass, slightly bitter, with separate... And separate the layers more clearly. D All right. I can do that. Next, I mean, I I will try. Making drinks is not actually my strong suit. Let's see. I guess we can try this. All right. I'm not supposed to mix it because he wants two colors. Let's see. How about... And we'll add that. Whatever. You can have this ugly fucking drink. Who cares? Have a lemon. What's wrong with you, dude? Uh, were you rude to me the last time I came here? Uh, get ready to pull out your baseball bat. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll fight you, dude. Don't worry about it. I will choose violence every time. It will happen. I've done it many times during this stream. Damn, this guy's not pulling any punches. No, why would I do that? I'm here to fight. Oh, nice. You refer to yourself as guy. It's nice. Good job. Yeah, no, I refuse, I refuse to fucking acknowledge it is what it is. I'm not giving you the satisfaction. <laughs> You're giving us the satisfaction of accepting, accepting it. it no, I'm better. not accepting it. I'm just not acknowledging it. <laughs> You get nothing! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. sure. I hate it. At I least you respond when we call you Skies, that's already a fucking win. We call you Skies and you respond as if we're talking to you, so that means we're talking to I, you. I just have to ignore it, is what it is. Because you're a fucking menace. <laughs> All of you. Alright, Skies, I'm gonna- With friends I'm like these. Food. Good, finally, we're gonna get you. food while we- Wow. <laughs> I, I, I should have actual food. I've been, I'm munching on like I have like tostitos right now. I'm munching on fucking tortilla chips or whatever the entire time. Good shit, honestly. I mean, it was good. It was very delicious, but yeah. also, it's just junk food. I haven't had like actual food in a while. Depends on my mood, dude. Uh, sure. Um, stay on my side. Okay, my idea is nobody refuses my offers. I'm always right. I refuse. You have no idea what's good for you. I, I know that if you keep annoying, annoying the shit out of me, dude, I am going to hit you. I poured a drink on you last time because you're a dick. I mean, just the only thing you're good for, if you say so. You think I'd let you leave without paying? Move the mixer first. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this dude's an ass. I don't want to deal with him. I understand why Estella gets annoyed because she's like, I don't want to deal with this asshole. Do not blame her. Uh, let's see. More ice is fine. So they want it to be very sweet. So let's try that. And then very strong. I want three color layers. Oh, interesting. You can use the same color twice and it still counts. Oh, yeah. It won't make sense logically, but... Yeah, because they said three color layers. I was like, I thought it meant three separate color layers. But apparently no, that no, doesn't it, actually matter. No, no, no. I mean, like, it won't make sense drinking-wise. Because, like, if you pour the same thing... Hello? It won't layer properly. Hello? Hello. Hi, hi, Mecky. Are you good? Hi. Is this good? I'm, I, I'm asking. You're much better yeah. than you were, because you don't sound like you're, like, you know, 
an ear rape me. Like eating it? Like, I don't know why. I had to. <laughs> no, you should have shoot the cabinet like this to make Sky suffer, honestly. I, you know, because fucking Sky is fucking petty. That's why he's yeah, petty because he, he keeps muting me. You know. You deserve to be muted. <laughs> you, you, you deserve to be, be called Skies forever. Yeah, you deserve to be bullied, Skies. Not gonna fucking where, lie. Where, where'd Rena went? Uh, Bitch, where'd you go get food? Did... Yeah. Mm. So you see the friends I have? You see my friends? See the one I gotta fucking deal with? It's just shit I gotta put up with every damn time I come in here. <laughs> <laughs> every time you are, I'm abused, say the thing, come on. I'm taking just... off the fucking bingo board. <laughs> I was thinking it, to be sure. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm like, it's probably on the bingo board, but I do want to say it because <laughs> it does. It does. How it is. How it be. Listen, listen. I don't have the board, but like we all know, it's definitely on there in I our mean, hearts. In our, it's the bingo board of our heart. Is what it is. God, I'm in pain. Why you guys do this to me? Cause uh, we love you. Speak for yourself about this one, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna say, sure. X to doubt a little bit, but sh sure. Yeah, speak for yourself on this one, for real. <laughs> Let's see. I have more more things. Wait, what? Just give me give me the rewards. Why do I have to like go through like all the menus to see this? Yeah, I'm already at the thing. It's kind of annoying it wouldn't open Ooh. up the menu for me. Pookie, pookie, deck. Alright, let's see. Well, hang on a second. No, I don't want to view my Windows stuff. Thank you. How's your build on Akron? Trash. Like, how bad is it? Let me see. Let me see. Let me finish doing my other shit first. I got other things to do right now. Couldn't care less about that. You Let me see. <laughs> I'm desperate. I mean, you are desperate, that's for sure. Mm hmm. But that's another matter entirely. Jeez, you uh, click that like one by one? Did you just wait like until you finish the whole thing? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's absolute. Yeah, it's trash. I'm sorry. All right. Well, yeah, this is this is her stuff right now because I've been focusing on leveling up her trace. Zero! For what? The relics are zero. It's they're not. Even... I mean, they're not leveled up. Look at up. your relic. Because they're relic. not leveled up because I'm not giving them anything right now. Mm. Until I have an actual proper build, I'm not going to waste resources leveling them up. So I got to find good stuff with skills first, and then I'll level them up. But right now, I just heated whatever the fuck on it. I'm not worried about that. But the we'll get to it. We'll get to though. it. What? But why musket tier though? I mean, these were already leveled up. Like, I leveled these up mm. for other characters. Oh, so basically, this is just temporary. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is temporary stuff because I have to do more Simian Universe to get this other stuff, and this isn't even the proper set for her anyway. Mm. The the recommended set from what I've seen is like something entirely different from this. So I haven't had time to. I think the that. Izo the Inazumo is okay though. Oh, you have purple Inazumo. Uh, let me see what the actual thing was that she needs. It was Izumo, and then the Izumo is the, the other latest one. I'm one. About this, it's this. Yeah, the Path of Dream Dive. The latest the one, one the I latest. Need. That one, yes, that one. This yeah, one. That I, one. I know which one it is. That's what I'm talking about. It's this. This is what I need, but I don't have any of those right now, so I'll have to grind that out. But I have to do traces because I also got auto, and this motherfucker <laughs> is weak as shit right now, so I have to level up. Him Damn, a not, bit too. not Damn. having the proper build right off the fucking rip. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking gross. You don't Look, deserve him. Who smile. is your I proper ha build, Obs? I don't think. That's like, the there's not many. Like, the only people who I've actually got, like, decently built would be, like, Jing Liu and Seelie, probably. Um, because they're my, they're my two big but, but DPS Ups. characters. Obs, Obs, you're playing in English dub. You should call her Zila. <laughs> no. I refuse. <laughs> Maybe you should refuse playing English dub as well. Then fuck look, the English dub is not that bad. Okay, no, their their vocal direction is fine. It's not voice like Genshin. Are, voice actors have no, are not a problem. It's the voice direction. There's some things there that there there's occasionally lines that aren't good, 
But like, it's not like occasionally, ninety nine yeah. percent of the time, maybe you mean? Huh? I don't think it's that okay, bad. That's an exaggeration. That that's an exaggeration. Yeah, because Genshin's that, that okay, bad. Genshin's vocal direction okay, is got ass. Ninety eight percent of the time, it's fucking shit. Got it. Let's I don't go think with it's that bad. Seventy. I'd say it's much less than that. Like, I think for the most part, they're fine. But like, occasionally, there's like, especially for, like for some NPCs, you get some weird lines. Um, some of the name pronunciations yeah. are weird, and there's some translation issues, but that's not, like, a huge problem. It's not like Genshin, because Genshin's is a fucking mess. Like, it's all over the place. But, like, I feel like they've oh, been yeah. a lot more consistently decent in terms of, like, how they've handled their vocal direction for the English for Star Rail, for the most part. Not all of it, but for the most part, it's fine. I, I didn't find it too bad. Not generally. But you know what? It is 9.30, and I do have work tomorrow. So why don't we use the rest of the money that was keep, donated to me to, to keep, roll for... Keep playing. YouTube I need Agron. my fucking loot. What loot? Twitch loot. Uh, the Twitch drops? Mm, Hang drops on a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Motherfucker tops so What the fuck? Look, somebody oh, donated. Oh, got it. Never mind. So... I can. I'm allowed to use it. I'm, I'm money that was donated goes right back into it. So let's see. Will we get E2 Acheron? I already failed my 50/50, so. Good. I got Bronya again. And you see my it's luck. Easy. I put it on Twitter. It was fucking pain. I didn't. I didn't fucking open Twitter. The fuck you mean, brother? Oh, do you, do you want to hear about the luck? I'll read it to you. It's the worst. The the what? My, the, the, they, uh, the, the, there is a, a site that can pull your like polls and tell you how good your luck is comparatively. Brother, not using fucking wish tracker is kind of fucking stupid. Yeah. We know what it is. Rate up luck. <laughs> Unluckier than 85.5% of users. Oh, you mean that one? Yeah, okay. I've seen that. Five star yeah. luck. Unluckier than 78.6% of users. Yeah, you're bottom. You're just the fucking bottom. I am, That's it. I am the absolute bottom of the barrel with this shit. It's fucking pain. <laughs> It sucks. Yeah, what was fucking mine? <laughs> I don't even know mine. Where do I check it again? Uh, it's like in the fucking global stats. My fucking rate up luck is top 10%. <laughs> and of course, Amazing. we we did not yeah, get I don't her know again. What it is. We got Pela again. Pela. Pela, I don't need you. Like I already have you. You're already E6. Go away. She, she I don't gives you free tickets. And we still get jack shit, per the fucking usual. Are you trying to get her to E6? I want her to be E2. I'm not. Do you think I'm gonna spend enough money for E6 Acheron when Thelma's coming out Impact Third in like two weeks? Cause oh, she's no. your May May Bay Bay. I mean, she is May, but I'm not gonna whale that much money. If they're putting Alicia in the game, I might do that, but they won't be doing that. It's Honkai Ops. It's Honkai. And she's not the first Honkai <laughs> character in here. We've also got Sushong. <laughs> And Locha. Like, we have so many Hawkeye and... characters already in here. I mean, and Yanching is one. Seely, Branya, and... Silverwolf, Welt. Okay. We have all these Icon characters are already in here. Welt specifically in, was in mention, booted fucking... directly out of his game. Careful. We get Himiko too. Lost in those sweet dreams. Oh, there we go. We got E6 Gallagher. I didn't even. I, I don't even have Gallagher. I rolled for Akron like for a lot free. of times. Not a lot True. of times, shut the fuck up, it's just 30 fucking pulls. You fucking curl yourself. 34. Wait, oh, wow. it but... Wow. And most of them is just Pella and Dan Heng. I could have gotten a Gallagher, but like, no. But no. See, I can't, I can't roll anything other than just ass. My, my luck is trash in this game. You can't even Wait, get Nikki. It sucks. Oh, wait, oh. can I actually go to the thing? I'm gonna do my uh, stimulated universe. Stimulated universe? Simulated right. universe. I wanna say, um... Alright. That is a way you could say that. That's not right, but you... Yeah, alright. I call it stimulated for the memes, like... For the fucking memes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, it stimulates my brain into hating it so fucking much. 
I said, Akron, like, for real though, Akron, I needed her specifically for simulating newer stuff, because I'm, the reason why I don't do it most of the time is because I'm so, it's so tedious and time consuming. And I just don't want to. Being able to just nuke shit immediately? That's how we do. And you get the drops of the room from this Lamont. Yeah, it's great. That's like, the moment I learned that she could do that, I'm like, well. I know who I've got to roll for. Yeah, you it's can, like, that's the You can speedrun the simulated thing. universe with her now. Yeah, that's exactly the point. It's like, I I did not want to have to deal with having to do this shit over and over and over again, constantly. Let's see. I guess I can get down to the maze for another thing, but I want to do this puzzle first. Wait, this puzzle has a dialogue? Uh, okay. And they're all down in the maze. That's fine. I'll grab that. Yeah, we'll put a pin on the, the actual drink quest. We can come back to that. I don't really need to stream the side quest too much. I want to do the main stuff. We got oh, a little bit of time. you finish yet? The main story I finished, yeah. The drink <gasps> quest, no. I was like halfway pure through fiction. it. Pure fiction. Yeah, we, we can't do pure fiction. Insane got really bad at me because my, my builds are so bad, he can't really even do anything to get all the stuff for it. I'm like, well, yeah. I did try to warn you. You deserve that. Anyway, time to roll for Akron's weapon. Do I it. Need it. Wait, I can't one-shot a Trotter? Weird. Well, I wonder because why. Because it's a special enemy, why? Look, I assumed I might be actually to nuke it, but apparently not. All right, team, you guys got this. I believe in you. They don't believe in you, though. Well, Loach is pretty weak, but Black Swan should probably be fine. Her, at least her light on and stuff is generally okay. I gave her the one I have for Silver Wolf. I think Kafka needs a better one too. I haven't really like leveled her up properly. Another blood debt repaid. <sighs> Let's see. Talk to ten so minutes. Wait, did I? Oh, wait. Did that reset the puzzle pieces? These walls are so strong. It'd probably take a dozen heroes to break them. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Yeah, I gotta do Mari's job. What? Which is bartending. Bartending. Good. <laughs> Finally some fucking proper job for once. You guys have jobs? <laughs> Damn. Damn. I have a job. Do you have a job? You're trying to hit someone here. I mean, I have a job. I, I wish my job was art or something, but I do technically have a job. But if you make your hobby a job, no. That would like, I don't know. I mean, I have reservations about it for sure, but I think I would be a lot better off than uh, doing lab work in a field of geology that has nothing to do with what I wanted to do to start with. Hmm. Oh, weird, he reset the maze. Okay. I guess that's why they wouldn't let me do that in the first place, because if entering, they want you to, like, to be yeeted on his fucking story thing, so. Can't really do much there. Oh, time to break some shit. I'll wait for it. Pac-Man! <laughs> That's a great achievement. I love that. Yep, I was waiting for it. <laughs> Look, I have to, like, break shit. It's it's important. Yeah, I did I... the same thing. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm like, am I supposed to break those? Those, those, those like, one-time spawned from the puzzle, right? 
Okay. Right? <laughs> it was funny. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess they're gonna, like, force me to go and redo these puzzles, huh? I'm not forced to redo the puzzles. The puzzles are fine. If you activate your, like, pinball machine, it, it has the path saved. So you don't have to redo it, but you have to run around again and reactivate all the fucking teleporters. Yeah. Well, that's good, because I did not want to have to redo these. No, so that's the fucking pinball machine got it. I have to remember this fucking place. Let's see. I just need to rotate because that it's one. Important. Yep. Alright, hold on. I gotta close all this shit. Just to make sure that this other one's good. Ugh, this is very tedious. Alright, is there anything even over here, or is this done? No, there is a chest there. Well, there it's was. It's like he, 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 he hidden place. Oh, did you grab it already? Yeah, I did. I did when I was playing with the Venturine. No, I gotcha. I didn't think I did, that's why I need to go there. See, these guys are just chatting. I don't really care what you have to say. But hey, I got a sticker for that. So that, that's cool. Also, there's a stupid little burb. Come here, bitch. The route is that way. Yeah, I know where the route is. Don't go this way again, chirp. Yeah, I know. I was here to talk to people. Don't tell me what to do. Ba-bam. All right, now that that's done, they have this Calyx. And collect this. Well, this is why I didn't have so many damn stickers. Like, when it opened up, like, the thing for me, it was like, oh, you're missing, like, all the stickers. I'm like, well, that's annoying. Oh, here's a trash can. Um, what would Hunter do if he was besieged by enemies? <coughs> um, he missing missed to mend their ways. He took out his rocket propeller. That all grunt sounds cool. Um... Now what the trouble? Ha now that the trouble has been sorted out and all the bad guys have been wiped out, the plot is reaching its climax. What do you think Hana would do at this point? Let out a grunt. That sounds cool. I mean that that sounds about right. Let's see, don't worry about you. Bye. I love like the the happy jazz music in the background as it just decimates shit. It's like spring forth. Gleam of old blades. It's just like, oh yeah, happy jazz in the background. We're just erasing them from existence. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, can I do the family photo thing here? I saw this achievement on Twitter. You can call your friends and get them to place their beautiful faces in the appropriate slots to facilitate wondrous chemical reactions within the cartoon board. As you're already, you want to call your friends. Duh. Uh, let's see. You probably have a fair number of friends that match this height. Um. Welt. Gentle Mr. Yang would never refuse you. Wait, you can, you can call different people? Oh, yeah, apparently. No, but you can only call the fucking Express fucking gang. I know that calling all the Express gives you an achievement. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, man, I saw and Himiko was like sitting there and I'm just like, Lamau, that's when you... Oh, I could call. Oh, I should have called Blade and Silver Wolf. See, they'd show up. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah. If you call, yeah, you can call fucking Himiko, and she will have to fucking sit on the fucking chair. Because fucking Kakawasha had to stand on the fucking box to fit. Yeah, like, <laughs> give her a little seat. <laughs> yeah, look behind the fucking. Yeah, you didn't. I walk right there. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I have it in right. my own fucking stream. Obviously. Don Hong, come on, buddy. I've called you down from the express purely for this. All right, and march. Can we swap for the swap this for the prettier photo board? Now this one's funny. All right, cheese. There we go. All of you together. It's not often the express goes together like this. It's very lovely. 
Can I bring in others? I want to see what the others do. Yeah, people said there's like, I guess a cooldown for it, because he can't exactly. I want to be able to like keep doing that, because I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah, that's why I'm half tempted to just like, invite other people. Yeah. And see if I still get like, an achievement or like, something. I mean, you should. I think it'd be great. Yeah. Stream four. Gleam of old Bonk. Thank you, Topaz, for the pawns. I hope that they do a Topaz rerun. I wanted her the first time and could not get her. Because my luck is butt ass, so. I was about <laughs> to say, imagine not having fucking Topaz. Just using her and Ratio go brr. I did fucking brr. elation run of Simulated Universe, and I'm like, man, yeah. it was actually fucking fun. <laughs> just fucking Locha, Ice Boy, Topaz, and Ratio, and it just went fucking. There's I, no I fucking it. way it was that fun. Oh, this person's not very happy that I killed people. Attendance rate zero. Too bad. My blade thirsts for blood and vengeance. Alright. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to redo this stupid pinball thing. Pinball's not that bad. You're just a little baby bitch. I mean, this is true, but also, fuck you. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to like that you call me out. <laughs> I'm just a little baby bitch, as usual, honestly, no surprise. I mean, I am self-described as a little bitch. It, it is how it be. That's his, that's your rapper name now, little bitch. Little bitch. A little bitch in the house, bro. <laughs> God, imagine I me trying to be a rapper. Be terrible. Oh hell no. That'd be that'd be cringy as fuck. Can you imagine? I can't. I don't want to. Genuinely. Can they yeah, I mean, same. All right, what do you want, lady? Okay, well, let's try making you Sag. Is that not... Is that not what it is supposed to be? Let's make you calm again. Can they not afford... Even after all these years? Uh, okay. Why did I not get a sticker from you? I know I can get one. All of you drop stickers. Even after all these years. No, all of them get fucked. I know you do. Do not lie to me. Even after all these years. <laughs> oh, damn, I didn't touch the trash can. Even. Okay, I have no idea what her deal is. Maybe I have to like restart the area or something. You can stay sad, bitch. Fuck you. Let's see, break that motherfucker. What the hell was that? I have the pinball machine, right? I'm not worried about that. Oh, hey, I'm gonna suck your emotions out of your body and make it mine. Don't worry about it. Totally a normal statement, by the way. <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm not unhinged at all. What do you mean? I don't know what would give you that impression. Wait. I saw it. Where the fuck? Oh, there it is. Where the hell was a bird at? What the fuck? Oh, I was like up on the sign. Weird. I was only not looking up there at all. Hey you! I wanna I wanna suck out your emotions too. You wanna you suck. Know I can suck his it's like, uh what's up Alex? How how be you? I be I be alright. 
Doing all right. Welcome, welcome. We finished the main story. We're kind of just running around collecting shit now. Because I am a compulsive collector. It is a problem. This is really the, the real reason why I started wailing for Impact 3rd and why I have all the stuff is because I wanted all the outfits. This is genuinely the problem that I have. You do be having issues. I, I do. It's a problem. Don't be like me, kids. Don't wail. Uh, let me help you out. I don't know what you need, lady, but you're probably a quest for me to do. Here comes the clockwork. I have no idea what you need. I'll do your quest later, though. I'll probably do this off stream because I don't need to do this right now. Alright, yeah, I don't care about what you have to say. Just, just give me your quest. Let's see here. Oh, we're back to this part. Is this. Where are we at? Okay, we haven't gone down the other side yet or into the main area. We need to go to the other side as well. Do all of that stuff. What are we still missing? A trash can and three chests. Also, that's so fucking easy to do to pass because she fucking leads you to those. Smile. <laughs> that's I'm how sorry. I did it. I just run around the fucking map with to pass and her numbie just leads me to shit. Yeah, that's I guess another reason why I need <laughs> Topaz and Numby. Please rerun her whenever Aventurine drops, please. I I need to get Topaz. <laughs> She's already here in Panacone anyway, so you know. Yeah. Might as well. The, people are like tilted that why the fuck you didn't run both of them? That would have been so fucking nice to have like actual fucking uh full follow up team be assembled basically. Yeah, I I kind of I kind of need that. Let's see, that's it for today. All right, my guy, let's make let's fuck with your emotions because I can. This still feels like a little bit on the scummy weird side, to like just go into people's brains and manipulate them. That feels a bit not good. Delusion shine. The fucking. What you feeling feels bad? Great. <laughs> I am God, controller of all things, at least in the dream world. Yeah, there's our sticker. That's what I was looking for. Give me whatever that is. I guess I did need to look around for the other trash can, too. I haven't found that yet. Alright, let's go. On to the next thing. Make it your good deal, sir. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Uh, where the hell is this? Did I already do this one? Don't care about the TV. Did I not do this side, or did I do the other one? Oh, no, I did do this one. This is the bottom one. I don't need to be here. I need the other one. Uh, I guess while we're up here, we'll go into the bigger room. Never know what we'll find up here. Oh, it just drops back to that. Huh. Also, I love that Acheron's, like, slash is still here. <laughs> she just broke the fuck out of everything, and I'm like, alright, Acheron. Um, if you're talking about fixing Acheron's mess, you probably won't. That is, uh, not going to happen. Girl op operates in a whole ass other level. Alright, I want that other trash can. Alright. Wait, did it still send me to the bottom? It did! Why the fuck am I- no! I don't want to go to the bottom one. Fuck you. You don't want to be a bottom anymore? Damn. No, I don't. I don't want to be a bottom. 
Well, you have to. Fuck you. I mean, according to my Star Rail look, I have to be. <laughs> Can't escape the fate of my terrible luck. Alright, here we go. Now we can start looking around properly for other stuff. Let's see, well, Bring fuck forth. you. And fuck you. Uh, let's see. And fuck you. I should have most everything already here. I don't know what chests I've missed, but it's probably just from like some shit that I couldn't access as a Venturine. Of course, we still need to do all these things too, but we'll get around to that. Uh, let's see. Anything up here I need to worry about? What, you think I'm afraid of you? No. Goodbye. You too. Three Fuck four. you. Fuck you too. <laughs> oh hey, I can invite more people. Alright, let's see. Who can I invite this time? Wait, you can invite more? Oh, it's a different one. Yeah, it's a different one. Alright. Who should I call? Arlen or Yen Ching? Um, you know what? If they give me Asta, Arlen and A we'll get a couple sort of with Arlen and Asta. All right, let's see. Let's let's go to invite. Let's let's put Asta here. Oh what? They don't have Asta here? No way. That's bullshit. Pain. Pain. Is it be Yun Ching or, or him? If they had had like Yun Ching, Ching what? Yunqing wouldn't like a paired well with anybody here either. So we have we have Hanya, Black Swan, Akron, and Kafka and Himiko. I feel like let's see if Kafka will do it. I wanted to say I want to call Kafka just because it's funny being like we call Kafka. Hey y'all, come she here. Says, I'm on a mission. And it's just a crocodile <laughs> fucking frame. <laughs> okay, so Kafka won't be here. Let's see. Um, Damn. What about Akron? Will she show up? Yeah, hey, there she is! Using a lens to record a moment before your very eyes about a novel experience. You should know what... You should know what cameras are, Acheron. Like, I feel like your planet was advanced enough that you should have had some. You want to continue his villain <laughs> train? photos the bird, but no, that's better. <laughs> it's good, I like it. I don't know who I could have paired with this to make it any better or not. It's so bad. I mean, I'll do some other pairings with that later. Let's see. Anybody else up around here? It's this whole section. Stream forth, gleam of old place. Uh, bird. No. Get here. You're mine. You have to be kidding me. I need six more jades to roll. Skill issue. You yeah. have the skill issue. You don't have relics. You're a fucking account of shit. Because I don't I don't grind for relics. It's a pain in the ass. I grind a little of my character's base stats up first and then I worry about relics. Hmm. When they've got a decent enough light cone issue. and their skills are up, then I worry about anything else. Oh, phone wallpaper. Really forgot right. about that. Let's see. I hear a chest. Hmm. That's better. Alright, returning to normal form. Let's pop that, right. first of all. I'm gonna try to get some pictures. Where was this again? What are you talking about? Uh, the map for, like, the picture of uh, boots. It's in the new spot for this this whole area. Yeah, the amusement park. There are like amusement few. park. Stu yeah. Clock studios. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the amusement park section, so you gotta go over there first. Okay. I have not unlocked it because I was just doing. I mean, have you not done the story? Missions. I've finished yeah, the story. Yeah, he means teleporter. Teleporter is so yeah. not fucking unlocked because. Yeah, I went for the story first and then just explore later. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. You can only do so much exploring during the story anyway. Hmm. I exploded a lot because, haha, <laughs> funny, Aventurian helped me fucking kill all the enemies. I mean, I had him do that too, for as much as I could explore with him. The case in point, there's still plenty of things that I have to go back and find because I couldn't access it. Alright, well I guess we're down here now. Oh. Uh so I'll kill that guy. That having a rocket launcher feels really nice. It's very satisfying, just knock the fuck out of some shit. Clocky. You mean discount Man. Mickey Mouse? Yeah. What would happen though? If I said clocky but without the fucking L. I would mean, your channel I, I, be would, okay? I would prefer if you would not. But then again, <laughs> I, have, I, I have sworn plenty during this, like, was a seven hour stream just about? It's like, I have done a yeah, lot of swearing, a... but I would appreciate it if you would not jeopardize my channel in any capacity. <laughs> so I can't say what I wish I could do to adventure and got it. I mean. No, no. <laughs> it was like how you had to think about it, and you sounded so unsure, you were so fucking meek while this... This, this <laughs> like, is like the second time I've heard him so unsure no. about his answer. Uh, uh, yeah, no. no, right? He's like, no, no. sweating <laughs> profusely, just like, panics. <laughs> mild panic, mild panic, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Now, let's see, let's go. I am very amused with adventuring because I, I said this before earlier in stream, but like I didn't think I was gonna like him that much. But like, I he's a lot of fun. Like I didn't think he'd be this much fun. I, I enjoyed his story and stuff. It was a good time. That's not what, for him. Um, my first impression for, uh, at him for, at first as well. Like. He he wasn't really the, uh, he didn't really do anything at first, but then like at the end of like 2.0, I had hopes that he would actually do something. So it's good that he actually did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got like he's got a good vibe to him. Mm -hmm. he, he's a lot of fun to like just watch do stuff. I think my my favorite thing with him thus far has been him in like ratio just hanging out because that shit was very amusing. I ship it Man, a little bit. Separate. Ratio uh, being pissy. You should kill yourself right now, actually. <laughs> uh, not only clean, please. My man deserves way fucking better in life. Than ratio? Yes, absolutely. But also, it's hilarious to imagine. And I'm yeah, here for the memes. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I fucking want my man to be actually fucking happy and loved. That's the most fucking important thing. If you don't I mean, yeah, but all his loved ones are dead, so... Just, I hate just give him so fucking much. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely fucking despise you. I know. I know you do. That's why I'm here. You, you come yeah, into my that's chat. That's why you're being called Skies. That's why you're Skies. You come into my chat, you pick a fight. This is what you get. <laughs> nah. <laughs> this is just what happens. I don't make the rules. <laughs> don't bitch for about being called Skies. I, I will always bitch. Nothing oh, can yeah, stop me from bitching. Baby bitch all the fucking time. Yeah, I, I will bitch forever and there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's fine. Let's see, any more chests available? No, it seems like I got it. Alright, well let me out of here. I don't want to do this anymore. Alright, 
Let's get out of here. Alright. I forget, do the, the hunter chest count towards the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah, they do. So now I just gotta find the last lordly trash can, wherever the hell that is. And we'll have everything for this area. All right, Burb. Uh, what's the what's the best beat for this melody? Um, eighth notes. All right, go go off, Burb. Oh, there's the other trash can. Anything else I need to worry about while I'm over here? There's another sticker. Need that, thank you. Oh my goodness. What happened? I messed up. Instead of like using a skill, I use a basic attack. On the mouse. Slip of a hand. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. We're fighting the trash can. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I love that they just gave the trash can, like, strong arms and legs. That is fucking hilarious. Like, what started as, like, just a goofy-ass meme and Bellabog became, like, just a long-running joke. And I'm I'm all here for that. Because Stella's a raccoon. Oh, Black Swan died, but that's fine. I'm not worried about her. I got an achievement for that. So it all works out in the end. Damn, Kafka's dead too. The trash can killed one of my teammates, so it oh, said yeah. um, hazardous yeah. waste. Yeah. So, I didn't have that yeah, before. Yeah, I had that. Yeah, I had to shoot someone like one shot. I'm like, damn, bitch. Alright then. Damn, he killed Locha now. This is a problem. Damn. Imagine he And Akron's dead. Imagine, <laughs> imagine not killing the fucking trash can, what the fuck? I mean, he just one shot killed everyone on the team, so I feel like that's probably Imagine fair. Imagine not having enough break effect, bro. I I think it's fair. All right, motherfucker, one shot everybody. Couldn't even do anything about it. Yeah, but it. you're just breaking before he breaks you. Well, this team's still new. We're still working on the team. Mhm. Mm Fine. Sucks. You know what? Why don't we? Why don't we just do this the other way? We'll swap to my actual DPS team. Uh, I'm your contact, sure. Uh, Jeez. Take my punch. All right, let's fight him now. Let's see if my actual DPS team can do it. It's not the DPS that matters, it's the break effect. Yeah, but Jing Liu should be able to do that. Probably. Lend me your strength. Dang. Akron's damage here is still here. <laughs> yeah, let's see if they can do it. I'm pretty sure they can probably manage it. Did you finish this story already, Obs? Yes, we did. That's why I'm doing other shit. So otherwise okay. I'd be streaming the story. So we are all caught up as of this moment in time. And I was very excited because they make direct, re direct references to Impact 3rd in a lot of ways. True. And I was very excited. Uh, especially when Walt and Akron were talking. Oh, it's not just talk that. About Kevin. Uh, yeah, they talk about Kevin. Displayed. But they also have like um, the line that Akron says to Sam is a direct quote from the conversation that she has with Kevin in mm. Impact 3rd's Elysian Realm stuff. She also quotes Sakura from the Elysian Realm directly in the last update. Um... Mm. She quotes May's um, statement to Aponia just before finding out that Alicia is the 13th Hersher about, like, if, if your fate is predetermined, um, like, why would you continue pushing forward anyway? And her, the gist of it being, like, the ending might be predetermined, but how I get there is my own business. Um, Akron says, not that, but the actual wording that May gives in that answer, which I can never remember. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's it's the thing that May says. <laughs> So they, they make, like, very direct pointed mm. references to Impact 3rd's, at least in Realmark, many, many times. Which is 
Probably on purpose, considering that they share a writer, so. Go figure. But I was very excited. I was, I was very, very happy that, like, the moment I got to Pentacon, I'm like, oh, this is Project Sigma. I know what this is. I recognize this. They turned Project Sigma into Vegas. That's all it is. Alright, did I find all your stuff? Oh, hey! They gave me, they gave me shit. And that should be everything in this new area. I believe. As well as a new achievement. I have a lot of new achievements, actually. Um, let's see. Do that one. Let's just go over to the clocky thing. We have new shit in here, too, don't we? Yeah, we do. And let's use that one. I'll probably look up a guide later on how to get the rest of these stickers, because they t some of them are really weird. Let's see, this one comes from interacting with the camera. And that's probably from find Oksana in the theme park lounge and restore her missing emotions. I think that's the mission I have. Um, talk with Clocky at the entrance of the theme park and expose their true identity. Help Avira, the animation dream chaser, calm down and face reality. Talk to Walter. Um, sure what he was. Okay, I'll have to just find them later. I'm not that worried about it. As long as I get my jade from this, that's fine. I'll put that up there. Any new note stickers in here? Oh, investing in the family crests. That's interesting. I've not actually done that. All right. Well, that's all for this area. We're still missing a lot of shit here. Two chests and a trotter. All right, there was that one area I couldn't open up in this. I forgot. Door's always fucking locked. So maybe they'll actually let me access it now? I have to do a fucking shitty ass side quest to open the doors, some of them, so have fun. Oh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> nah, I checked. That's that's what I'm saying, brother. That I really fucking is? checked. Yes. Well, that's probably where the last of the chests are. Also, yes. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, we'll talk to you. Do you have anything for me? Okay, well, I don't have all of your friends, I suppose, so. Anything else in here I need to check for? Anything I can do for you? Oh, there's people with emotional dials I need to fix. All right, come on, buddy. I don't really care about what your issues are. I just need to activate your clockwork so I can have the quest and I can get to it later. When I have more spare time to do this. Now, come on. Yep. All right, my guy. Whatever your problem is, I'll I'll assist you with it. Yep. I'll deal with that later. Anybody else around here that's got some fucking problems I have to assist and deal with? Uh, let's see. Let's look at the map here. Mm, yeah, so there's room in the top floor I can't get to, which is probably where everything is. Madi, do you remember if the trotter is in that room as well? I really don't, honestly. Let me check if I actually got it. If if I didn't get it, it's not here. Uh, yeah, because I've, I've been all around this place. I haven't seen the Trotter yet. I killed the Trotter. I, I don't know where it is, but... 
Oh, so I found it somewhere. I, it's so fucking easy, I just walk around with Tobias, and then he finds me a fucking Schroeder as well, and it doesn't fucking run away. So I can bonk it. Bonk. Yeah, Tobias is fucking great. Yeah, I don't think it's in this room. It, it has to be in the room that I haven't been to. I mean, I haven't unlocked the new room that is locked behind the quest, so... Trotter oh, no? is somewhere in the open, yep. Huh. Do you think... Yeah, you know what it might be? It might be in the sand pit. I haven't been back, back in there since I did the stuff with, um... Aventurine. So... Yeah, I've been sand to pit. sand pit. Can I not... Into the... Oh, here we go. Into the sand pit. Let's see if the trotter's down here. And then we'll nuke it. This goofy ass little area is is so fucking funny to me. I all love I, the guy who is half stuck in the fucking manhole. Yeah, I love like all these like just clipping in and out and t posing. It's fantastic. Yeah, a posing, fucking walking. I love this area. This area is my favorite. It's so silly. Now there weren't any like enemies down here, were there? Uh, there are a few. Let's see, well, there's a sticker I didn't have, so we'll take that. Let's see, Green. bonk, bonk. Yeah, get out of here, dudes. All these, like, little stack of dudes here. It's just, it's so silly. Right, well, fuck you. That is so immensely convenient. I really can't get over how convenient that is. Yeah. I'm glad I wailed for her. Because <laughs> it was necessary. There's the dude, there's your favorite guy. Trapped in the main hole. Yep. Yep. And Just the world's lost soldier. Yep. yep. And the Do fucking phrase he says as well is like, yep. I love him. He's my fucking favorite. He's, he's I saw an art how someone like says like, imagine I've entry and just like walks up like out of his fucking office, walks by the fucking sandbox, and just like pushes this guy through the manhole and just does his fucking smack cat face. <laughs> uh, what would you do if you caught someone damaging public property? Um, teach him the thing with my bat. Uh, if a dream chaser messed up the Charmony Festival with an unintentional mistake, what would you do? Um, we don't beat them up until they promise to make them sick again. Fight! Always choose the violence. Always. Before you can get one shot again, smile. Hey, look, I, I chose violence in one, so, you know, it's fine. It's good this time. This time. Not any other time, smile. Don't don't worry about that. That time doesn't exist. It's not real anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fine. It's in the past, so it's gone. Gone forever. And there is not a goddamn charter down here. Alright, well, that's annoying. But that was one of the chests that I needed, so we only have two left in the trotter, so. Uh I mean I guess it must be in like one of the other rooms I haven't been into. No, you forgot something, but I will not give you a hint because fuck you. <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. I already know. Do you? I do. I mean, I don't know if the Trotter is there, but... I did forger one thing, so we'll check it. Yeah, there is one thing you forger, and it may be there. But I don't remember because I just, like, ran through it. I didn't even think. I was just grinding silently. Well, we're, we'll go here and find out. So there yep. is a fucking sticker up here. No, I don't oh, want to yeah. go back in the fucking pinball. Fuck you. Yes, confirm. Leave the shit. I wanted the sticker. Yep, there it is. 
Three Fuck you, bitch. Ah, <sighs> sadly I helped Obsidian and them. You did your job, finally. <laughs> I say Excellent. as if it's your job to do anything to help me with. Yeah, my job is to make you fucking suffer. Fuck you, Skies. I mean, I expected no less from you. Good. Oh. Team's doing kind of rough right now. I weep for the departed. Damn, that trotter did not stand a fucking chance. Will they actually kill him though, or is he gonna wake up and run away? Wake up and run away, wake up and run away. Nah, we got him. We got him. Another blood debt repaid. Actually, kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. Look, it's fine. I do sometimes worry about it because my uh, my team is not optimized right now. Nor would I really optimize them to start with because I'm not really the kind of person that min-maxes too much, but I do need to build them to some extent. Let's see. Hello. Uh, well, hello. I went to get good. At least someone got the fuck. I should also get food. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna need food at some point in time soon. God, you're making me fucking jealous. I hate you so much. <laughs> hmm? What? Uh, let's see. You heard a Dream Chaser had visited here. He tried to win it all and lost everything instead. Countless Dream Chasers gambled their future for their dream, not knowing that the dream itself is the biggest dealer here. If you knew the bet was a guaranteed loss, would you bet everything like how that emissary did? Um... Losing money isn't always a real loss. I guess. Oh, this is a whole new section. Alright. I guess we can add to this. Specifically to the sand pit? Interesting. Yeah. Huh. I did not expect that. Oh my god, a little adventuring thing. That's hilarious. Yep. <laughs> what are the others here? Uh, yank out the origami birdie from the miniature model. Find a whisper in the twisted VIP lounge corridor of the hotel and the dreamscape for their missing emotions. And then a McCoy. So I'll get those later. We're almost there. We have new ones in here too. Oh shit, we got all these. Nice. Dropping these. them all in because I don't care. I just want all the stickers here so I can say I have them all. Does that mean I got all the stickers from this thing? I think I did. Yeah, we did. Nice. Oh, man. So that one's done. Still need a lot from this one. We have three more to do, plus the different notes. We'll get those later. This one still needs quite a few as well. Yeah, there it is. So we're we're only missing a handful of things. We'll we'll figure out the rest later. Not a big deal. See, so do I have enough jade to do any more rolls? We do. And I'll call it quits on the stream today because I have to go to the bathroom and I have other stuff to do. So. Nope, nothing here. Nothing there. And I'm one jade short from doing another pull. Good. <laughs> Damn. That sums up my luck pretty nicely, I would say. <laughs> pretty fucking typical. Let's see. I guess we'll get the rest of the monies. Ah, uh, my green eye fan. I need any of these for anything? I don't remember. Okay, well that's all we're gonna do today. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the stream. 
we will not be streaming the side quests, but I'll see you guys in the next update.